the next level on our opening day presented by MasterCard. It's time for our rematch of Summer's Finals last year. C9, who you can see arriving to the arena right here, going up against Energy, our defending champions. for his brand. <laughs> wow, E, man. Contract's going in over the wall now. Energy's going to look for Vulcan here. He's already used Ooh. the flash, but a nice job interrupting the dredge line. Contracts takes the kill, but now he needs to be careful. Flavor's coming in, wanting to clean something up, but Energy's still ready to keep the fight going. JoJo's got no ulti. Flavor's got no chance. FBI getting himself oh, away. Got JoJo canceled. takes him out before he can do it. Contracts now running backwards into the enemy base. Well, top side, Fudge and Dokar going all in. From the Azir you guys were talking about, a couple of soldier autos, and he's forced down to half HP. The calling comes out, but Vulcan with the engage immediately with the dredge line. Fudge and JoJo trying to back away, and Vulcan may be killed here. Energy now with enough damage so far. A massive Sharima shuffle coming out, keeping it back. It's a one for one, a one for two. It's about to be more, and C9 have made their way into the base. They've only lost Vulcan, and the front line is decimated on the side of Energy. Contra 1000 HP. The enemy jungler's already down. There should be no chance of a steal. Blabber with a secure as Palafox drives through the Weaver's wall. He's, uh, oh my God. He's <laughs> out. Okay. Palafox with a cheeky exit, but the rest of Energy now under pressure as JoJo goes golden and Dokla goes down. FBI survives with 100 HP as Palafox shuts down the Emperor, but he'll be traded back. Meanwhile, Fudge has decided the game has gone on long enough. The Udyr TP's in on top of the Nexus turrets as another kill comes through. Palafox is out. Only FBI left standing. 14 to 5, 30 minutes in. C9 takes the dub. Ed, Ed, and Eddie have made their way onto the rift, and it's very early focus as Ayla flashes away in the bot side. Core JJ, one more shot, let's do it! That's it, the first blood! Barely missing there, a little bit unfortunate for TL, but now 100 Thieves are taking a chance, they want to go in. APA goes over the wall, but his face is sealed! 100 Thieves followed up, and Quinn grabs the kill. The sniper reveals himself, though, he's gonna die, he just doesn't know yet. APA getting bursted down pretty heavily, though. Sniper wanted to make it happen, he's oh. barely gonna miss out! As Fault breakers to dodge away from CC or buffer through it, even if he's gonna be hit. But now, Mega Infernal Bomb over the top, and Impact gets him. 100 Thieves trying to disengage as Umpty and Impact lead the charge. Corrin APA coming around behind as Yon fires off the fourth shot. Quinn wants to try to dash out, but Umpty's still on top of him. Impact in the middle of three, and Sniper flashes in, only to find a bullet to the face. Team Liquid, two for nothing. Yeah, Sniper. It's in on to you. And Umpty and Impact just kind of disrupting everything. Here's TP coming through. It is going to be Sniper coming in. River's diving. They're sending it. Yon's the target here, and immediately they find him. The Fate Seal gets the shutdown. That's the Jin already out of the picture, but can they get any more? The bomb goes up into the air. 100 Thieves takes some damage, but APA is down. One, two, three, already killed. As Team Liquid after retreat, 100 Thieves went for the full send, and send they did. Sniper's going to send Core JJ right back to the fountain, and only Impact to tell the tale. Yeah, that is yeah. And TL, at some point, will be forced to go, and Sniper here hanging on the side. Team Liquid wants in already. River down to half HP. Umpty tries to go in for him, but the Crescent Sweeper's gonna wear off soon! Seraphine ulti over the top! Maybe Quinn goes on the rampage! 100 Thieves already found two! And River wants another! Yon flashes back over the wall to escape, and Sniper's on to APA! The Ziggs ain't gonna last long! And 100 Thieves just won the game! 100 Thieves! TP in the top lane, Impact TP back to try to clear the wave, but I don't think he's gonna be able to do it. It's 1v5 for Impact. The Udyr will not stand against this one. It was a battle for 35 minutes, but 100 Thieves outplay them in the end. The team fight ace for nothing. They gotta beat the inhibitor <laughs> back out again, but it's okay. It's not gonna dissuade. Only Core JJ is back alive as the Nexus turrets fall. Boogie. So Zach did get some really like nice. It. Zach got some nice compensation buffs. Such a strong start to the game off that invade. Uh, I think. Jensen could him. be close. A little bit more damage. Oh, no. Auto attack flat. Oh. And it's Sandy's gonna trade one for one in the mid lane. Lucio Masu should be able to heal up unless Ball Turtle dashing in. Culling is unleashed. Encore answers back. Perfect cleanse and a nice combo from Zazel. Could be the kill. There it is for Wild Turtle. Are going to get cornered into Whippo. Wild Turtle opens up with the culling. Whippo is coming around to the right side. 
Great keeper's verdict from Insanity. He's in. Fake God. Insanity oh. finds Jensen onto the back line. He flashes over. Insanity is causing so much disruption into the back line. And Flyquest is completely split. Oh, and Cloud Turtle finishes off Jensen. To your advantage. Or they could just go for the chase down They're here. Strong right now. Running down mid. Tidal Wave and Culling already used by Shopify, but Boogie has taken half of his HP already in damage. The Baron buff is about to expire on FlyQuest. Maybe they found Insanity Keeper's oh, wow. verdict, and a lot of ultimates already used. The passive is proc. Meanwhile, Whippo is soloing Fake God, making sure that he cannot get to the fight and cannot help out his comrade. This is how pick, and the brute force is coming for the Nexus turrets. And Boogie's the only person that can really make it an engage. He dashes in, pops the Crescent Guard, but it's not really doing anything because at this point, Boosty Omasu can just heal everyone up to full. The first Nexus turret falls, the second one evaporates just as quickly, flashes all around. A last defense will not be made by Shopify Rebellion, and it is FlyQuest that comes back on opening weekend day with a statement win. New Year, new flag quest. They pick a very scaly composition. Jensen gets his Oriana once again, and they are taking their time with this one. Six acquired for XU. He wants to use it. You flash. He lands it. Mass flashes into the nice. wall. But nice buffer from XU with the cease and desist to pick. Um, the bigger base for those objectives, but rich under tower. If this is a tanky Gragas, so he might be able to sustain himself for a little bit of time, but there's so many spells being used onto Rich, and eventually, oh, but Oz comes in from Fog! The Battle Dance Flash keeps Rich alive, and Mask is in trouble as he falls to the current! Dig the top, pull the hood over Immortal's eyes, but Tactical ensures that they get one out of the trade. Again, Armel throws out the ulti, Rich frontlines it, XU flashes forward, looking for Mask, Eisel's Final follows up, Mass tries to push him away with the Divide, and he's trying to run away, but he's got limited frontline help as Tomo isolates him out. Multiple knockouts being thrown into the front line of Immortals. Tactical steps on back, uses the current goal, but to nothing. Castle is gone, and the rest of Dignitas will push on forward for the first win in the LCS. They a couple times, but Dignitas, through thick and thin, endure, and are able to pick up their first win in the LCS. <laughs> Shooting gallery here! He can get in range fast and FMT may just be there. It's down to 2k, but they haven't got it just yet. It's gonna be a smite by the Equalizer is dropped. Turtle's in the midst oh. of everyone, and Turtle has to run, but Impact getting burst down. And look at Insanity on the side, just raining Hellfire down on TL. Very low. Gonna jump the motion, trying to heal back up. Is MT going forward, but APA in the back oh. line shuffles him back! And TL going crazy in this fight. Yawn still very healthy. And Sandy's got to run, but he's got no Valkyrie. And he's got no way out. Back. And it's going to be about the fight at the Dragon. The rejection there from MT. Going to be able to knock away Insanity. They're going to be able to finish this off. But Boogie's in there. It's a smite fight. Oh, he's still and Boogie steals it. Umpty with the early smite. Keep their hopes alive in this one. But Impact relentless on the top side. And MT going to be charging in. Slams Boogie against the wall. There's the disengage ulti from the Nami. Shopify have got to leave. But Insanity's looking for an angle with the baggage. And he goes in over three. Chucks them low. MT in trouble here. Trying to run. But Yon looking to turn the Turtle! Turtle! Turtle incredibly low. But he doesn't burn down. Down just yet. Turtle survives, but Insanity does not, as MT will smash him into the ground. Lap done it, TPing into the base, looking to finish this off. It's APA, Zazel's gone, it's the double, and it's Impact charging in, looking for the ace. Tio will get it and will secure their first win of the season, taking down Shopify Rebellion. Big win. Now. The Nocturnal, gonna get popped. We'll see if they go in. It's in onto Vulcan. They're looking to try to knock him down, but it's River that's in more trouble. Blabber is just chopping him oh. down. And that's gonna be another kill. And now it's gonna be a reset on the Herald. Jojo in trouble. Sniper in the back line. Maybe able to get one kill. No, couldn't actually connect with the ulti. And it's Blabber that gets another. It's 100 Thieves set running with their tail between their legs. That's Spellblade Auto. You do get the exposed weakness on it. But I was expecting them to go more of those tanks. The Blabber! 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 And knocking him down, but Blabber will fall. And that is a big shutdown going the way. I see the win rate and realize it's really strong. Yeah, looks like Top 9's gonna play really aggressive here. Blabber's going in on the Nautilus. Blabber's going in, the ulti's gonna be popped, the TP's coming in to respond. Can they actually lock him down and burst him down? A sniper chasing him, and it looks Got like him. Blabber's gonna be gone, and now Fudge's gonna get hooked in. They're all turning onto the Udi here, but they have enough damage to get him. Now Quinn going forward, does get the knock up onto Jojo. He's in the shroud, he does get one kill, and he's gonna E out the safety. Nocturne ulted, so they're just gonna 
run away. There's the Nocturnal. He's going to be going in on the Blabber, but Blabber turns it around on River. River in trouble. Fudge in the back line there as well. As you can see, the Nico all going to get popped, but it's going to miss on Everett. And JoJo's in the back line. He knocks him down. It's a triple for JoJo. Nine. Although he's going for the TP flank, so right. okay. looks like they'll probably be going into the bot lane here. Yeah, the, the lights get turned off, but are they even going to use the Nocturnal? It's just on Blabber again, and Blabber likes his odds in this Ooh. line. He turns on River. River gets low already, but in goes Aelin. There's the Nico ult, but it's only on Fudge. I forgot everyone on Hunter. Yep, the Zerker's going down. Low. Oh. Blabber not going to be oh. able to kill him, it looks like. Oh. This, is, oh. this is the ulti. It's a double kill on the other side, and it's a clean ace for Cloud9. Even if you got... They are the super team coming into the spring split here, yet to lose. JoJo's letting his team do all the work. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> In day one, of course, it's only just one game of tactical, though. The curtain call is opened up. Tactical gets ulted on top of ulted the first. And so that Whipple can split push on bottom side as well, up to the tower. Let that cannon minion do some work for him, and they go the... Yeah, Mortals thought they were going to try to hard force this. It's a one-for-one one trade. Ole for Inspire. Isn't really open to them of trying to rush the Baron down. They get a pull. Yeah, the pull on Whippo, though, is not quite the one they want. Mask is going to be focused down the front line before anybody else, and Castle is not strong enough to zone away the rest of FlyQuest. Whippo is still berserking through enemy lines with the Ragnarok. It finally wears away, but Armeo is going to die. Jensen dominating 9-3 to three game. Two for nothing. Fight FlyQuest for the nine kills, but seven kill participation for both bottom laners. Ole again is going fishing and catching a damn shark. Inspired ends up getting the kill, and Whippo leads the charge. It's two dead on FlyQuest with a long-range snipe. Double kill back over to Inspired to make it three. Whippo is not done, but Immortals sure are. FlyQuest pushing straight on to the Nexus turrets now, as Mask will not stop anybody. FlyQuest still pushing this one, as Jensen, he does not fall. He has the stasis to guarantee that he stays alive. FlyQuest still has all five players in the enemy base. Immortals tried, but Immortals died. FlyQuest gets themselves a 2-0 week one. Xiu is around, but Dokla oh. should be able to get out of here in time, I would think. No, oh, maybe not. Oh, it's he a gate for gate. It. Double gate. Contracts is coming in. Energy think they're the ones who's going to have this, but Xiu immediately jumping in for the first blood. Now, Rich doesn't really have a way out, I wouldn't think. Rel doesn't do a ton of damage, but she ought to do enough to kill Rumble at 3 HP. Contracts will make it a you. If you, even if you catch somebody out, it's not going to go great. We're going to get caught out. Oh! Rich with the equalizer over the wall. Oh, I love it when non-junglers oh, jump boy. through the rift herald. All right, never mind. Here we go Another again. Kill. Dove in trouble. Contracts and Dokla should be able to take him down. Sun disc or not. Dokla eating a lot of damage, though. Dove beautifully outplayed in the one. Because you can see energy's moving up into the jungle. They want to try to stop it, but Contracts now has to be saved by the devour from who he. But what about the counterattack? Magnet Storm is going to get used as Dove comes around from behind, and he's found FBI. The damage comes through and Dove gets it done. Shariba Shuffle comes out and Contracts is under pressure. Dignitas has just found their angle. The Baron throw favors Dig. A quadra even started. A quadra for the Azir. Halifax, the only man standing, and he's teleporting to end the game. Dig want to go after the Baron, but Palafox wants to go after the Nexus. Rich will head back to the base to stop him. He'll hold the line for now. Going for that XU already so low once again. The damage is huge. Contracts goes in for the Magnet Storm, but a nice disengage coming out from Doug. He'll die on the front line. That's the Fed player. That should be the end of the game. Tomo still trying to stand and fight, but Contracts goes in for the engage to keep him back. Nexus turrets both under half HP. Dokla under pressure from XU, but he will not die just yet. He reinforces with a shield. Dokla drops. Tomo grabbed the kill on that one, but he'll be traded back as Contracts put in a lockdown. Everybody who he into the back line, only two members left alive on Dig. Nexus turrets fall. Dignitas runs. And Energy is gonna get their mark. They'll end the week on a win. Ultimate is going to be worth Rumble I'm, I'm not having it. Blabber, they got the combo. The equalizer on top. Doesn't actually get that much damage down. Berserker gets the first kill on the Dove, though. Traded back. X, you burn down to a crest. But the engage. Tomo. Tomo's popping off in the fight. He gets the double kill as Fudge and JoJo finally take him down. But it did a lot of work for Dignitas. The rest. Her job remains the same here for Dig. It's all defense. 
And we're just jumping right onto Tomo. The combo yet again, this time only on the enemy AD carry. He's surviving for a while, but not long enough. Cloud9 pick off the Aphelios. That's probably the last Bastion for Dignitas here as they will try and survive in the fountain. They're losing the front line. It's just Dove and Isles. And Dignitas seem to be falling. Cloud9 continue the win streak against this team. 19 in a row. We are cheering for him, but it is not going to happen today. Cloud9, ooh, nice look from Dove right there. Trying to end on a high note, but Cloud9 are just inevitable. Continuing their dominance of the LCS. Cloud9 will go 3 0. Got out of it and now quit at 150 HP. It's spilling to mid lane because Contracts was still up in the jungle. Flash to knock up Quid, who's trying to get out of there, does use the flash himself. And Palafox fancies himself the dive. River with the counter gank and first blood on the contract. Snipers over the wall. 100 Thieves are looking for a big flank angle, trying to surround NRG. We're into the pit. It is secured by NRG. They will lose Dokla for their efforts. How many more will fall? 100 Thieves trying to chase the ball down. Palafox, the new focus, the new target. The Shuriken landed. Quid can take it. But there is another turret there, so Palafox will get away. And 100 Thieves only claim one for the Baron. Energy. River's got to get out of there. That's a good old Sejuani. Oh, uh, chain of corruption here. on it. Who he? Oh! That's one shot! Meech finds his moment! And FBI says, well, I got one of my own! Shut down as he flashes forward to claim each as well. Get another look at that! Yeah, nice one there. Hits him with the snipe. Who he went in for the ward, but really good. I don't think he's gonna have the chance. He has to flash away. Good damage on the sniper. Ooh, arrow lands on the Ayla, which means River goes in between the field goal or field posts. Doesn't land a stun, but the chain of corruption on the Dokla, he doesn't have flash anymore. This is a huge pick for 100 Thieves. Look at the back line. Contracts is getting in. Dokla's still alive! And 100 Thieves have been routed! NRG absorb yet another engage, and they will ace the Thieves! But NRG are walking away with a win! Quite the exciting one, and they want some more kills. Well, uh, it's gonna be a spot. long time, though. So clearly, here we go. Palafox shuttle about No! Oh, it's fine. And her shield is stronger, but... Inspired very low. Burst it down. Team Liquid has the DPS for this Jensen's one. But now here. Umpty's here on the front, and Jensen's ready to join the fight. APA makes his way down as the Shockwave finds Umpty, but it's only one target, and APA's ready to jump in over the wall to keep it going. Jensen under pressure, and APA finds his shot this time. FlyQuest I'm in for a 1v2 here. Inspired's got to be careful. The Nami wave gets fired off. Whippo's in the middle of everybody. He's going to start things off with an ulti. Looking to lock down Impact. Matsu and Inspire putting some damage on the Yawn. Yawn tries to get away, but he's beat down by the Trundle. Whippo's still in a 1v2 situation, but he's surviving just fine for now. Flashes back over the wall. He's A-OK, -okay, but it's APA down in bot lane. He's going to keep pushing, looking for another it inhibitor. Is, As FlyQuest are down onto the Baron, Oriana's going to go back. It's Jensen who's on APA duty at the remaining four FlyQuest. To steal this. 4v3. could be the steal. This is what they're hoping for. Team Liquid's gonna need a hero moment out of their jungler. A TP coming in as Whippo and Busio want to keep the TL jungle away. Impacts into the backside of the pit, just being an absolute 6,000 HP ward to allow Umpty to make sure he knows when it's time to go in. Now the Blast Cone's gonna get set off. Whippo and Busio both still trying to keep Umpty away. Impact's still on the pit, not allowing the Baron to they're be trying set. To finish it. Umpty jumps back over the wall, the crash down comes in, a TP's coming out. Impact here in a 1v2 now, leading the way. Umpty goes Back from the wall, Flash ready to re-engage. Hit fired back onto the ramp of his own side of the jungle. Whipple's tanking on the front line as Umpty barely gets out. Whipple's hanging on by a thread as his fire chases away the enemy jungler. Impact is low, but Core JJ's lower. His fire gets the kill on Umpty and Impact is about to fall. The health bars were dicey, but it's FlyQuest coming out on top. But yeah, this is the true power of, of FlyQuest comp, right? Especially with Ocean Soul, it just takes so long at this point to get through the healing, to get through oh! HP, and goodbye. There's the power of karma right there. There's the power of karma. There goes Yawn. There goes APA. Both marksmen out of the picture, and Impact cannot do anything alone. Core JJ going back into the fountain one way or the other. A double kill for Masu. FlyQuest make quick work of him after getting those buffs. It's going to be Items, but now, Shopify Rebellion on to the second set of Grubs. They claim the first one. Remember, they want to get at least two to stop their opponents from spawning the Grublings as the Engage comes out and Immortals are ready to lock them down. And Sanity hiding in the smoke, looking to get himself away. Mass down to half HP as Shopify try to turn it back. 
but Insanity shot in the face as he tries to do a cartwheel into the middle. Castle beats down another one off to the side. B-Boy's in the picture, and Boogie's the one who's about to have his epitaph drawn. Goodbye to Shopify, and Immortals are the ones to rack up three. Pilot, it connects with the turret. Tier two about to fall, as Immortals will not be able to stick around to guarantee it. Boogie flies in, and Fake God's ready to follow up. Tactical gets going, Pilot, and Insanity gets his mark. Olay tries to escape, but it's already a Look two at for making a two for one. Mask is ready to pop off. Fake God is low, and Mask is about to execute him. 3v3 left of the map, as Castle is now gonna get focus fired down underneath the tier two turret. The arrows fly, and the Udyr die. Being able to lay down those saplings as your opponents try to approach Mask, Separated from the rest of the team, but confident in his ability to deal with Boogie. He forces back the Nocturne, but Insanity wants an angle. Massive Magnet Storm coming up from Zazel. It's two already dead on Immortals. What were they doing? Shopify still having all five men, but Insanity is about to drop. Armeo grabbed the kill on that one, thanks to the damage over time. Oh, the sleep. still looking for a little bit more. The sleep has landed. There's another one. Fake Gun's about to be number three. The curtain has been called, and Shopify is on the run. Beautiful downtown shot from Tactical. Just just when it looked like Shopify might have had something, here comes the deer! I just feel like it's B even if it's good, it's more BM. <laughs> and you're just engaging in mental warfare as Zazel is going to be your target here at the start of the fight. Accelerated shot blast to the back, ain't gonna find a whole lot as Castle is locked down. There go the stacks, there goes his homework, there goes Zazel as Boogie's gonna be your next target. Into the back goes Armeo, the Zonias you were talking about, Insanity cannot escape the triple kill back of a tactical. Make a quadra one two three four everybody give jen more immortal tactical just flashing around because it's fun no reason not to immortals will start off week two with a win and send shopify to a zero three start and what a feel good he's playing it smart right like he, he really was worried about this potential but dove's gonna get scooped in dove is forced to flash over the emperor's wall quid is just walking away xy does not commit cease and desist because he knows that river is here he's forced to flash away cease and desist right on that but he is just gone. First blood goes over to Quid. And River's looking for more, but a shuriken backflip will keep Dove alive. Oh, but they have to be a bit careful as it's the TP. He sees the flank, he sees the angle for the Sharima shuffle. Immediate cease and desist, tries to break up the fight. It gives Tomo enough space to be able to disengage. Isles goes down, but they trade on to Quid. Rich is TP'd as well. He actually just walked from the other sideline, but Dove finds Beach and assassinates him in the back line. Picks up a double onto Ayla. River's in trouble as well, but he's bought enough space. So disastrous for them if they just have to play front to back. Sniper and River are just fostering forward and forward. XU goes in, sees and assist right on a quit. Dove lands the shuriken backflip, waits for him to move before he commits. Tomo finds the curtain call on a quit. That's one against one. XU already fell to meet the rest of 100 Thieves, trying to find Dove. He gets rooted up, the flash does not save him, and the rest of 100 Thieves don't even need quit because they've got the rest of the back line doing all the damage as Rich and Isles are forced to split. And the rest of 100 Thieves here, they're entering through that mid line brush as well. Dove is waiting in the wings once again, Isles. but he has no flash. Sniper routes off Rich as well. Isles is completely cut off the fight. Arrow goes in. Dove is trying to find the perfect execution as well. Quid goes down. Tomo's firing up all the curtain call bullets as well. Looking for one more. They find Rich. This could be big for Dignitas. Dove is in the back line. Does a decent amount of damage. Just all of the sniper to protect the rest of his back line. All the rookies have to make sure that they can stay alive here for 100 Thieves, but Rich is still leading the charge. Sniper's too low to hold the line, and Dignitas are bullying 100 Thieves out of the pit. 100 Thieves has set up a fortress right now in that tri bush, but the Elder is going down 6,000 HP. Ash Arrow lands on the river. He's forced to retreat. Sniper is getting taken low as well. They turn their fire. Sniper is forced to retreat. 3,000 HP. River, does he look for the steal? He's going to go in. 2,000 HP. It's the flip. And she lands it. The Elder buff is now there for Dignitas. They look for the execute, but not the power of Elder is enough for them as 100 Thieves are still winning out the fight. Rich is forced to TP. Does he have pillar to interrupt it? No. He gets back. Time, but Quinn is still on the chase looking for Dove and Isles, and Isles has got nowhere to run. It's a sacrificial lamb for Dignitas as Dove is able to make his retreat. 100 Thieves is getting chunked as well. He's forced to flash the Tonic Shadow. It's enough. The Subjugate is what finished him off. And now five on four. Dignitas trying to hold strong against the rest of 100 Thieves. They easily crush this inhibitor and they've got two empowered cannon minions xu goes in looks for quid but he's got the stasis from zonius keeps him alive ash arrow into the current call to not enough damage Dove looks for the perfect execution but perfect timing from quid on the upper's divide keeps Dove out of the fight and takes him out hundred thieves might just be able to finish this game it looks like they're gonna do it quid with a beautiful ulti they're rejecting that perfect execution tomo's gonna go down it's only isles remaining and he will not be enough
That's a DPS pick. That is. <laughs> that is. Oh, oh no! Oh. DPS pick. Jojo oh. Pyeon Min. Oh. Give me a six scrub game here, but C9 looking to try to get a dive on bot side. They need to get something, but. Not gonna be able to find a great Q. Zazel's not level six yet. He goes for the flash just in advance. Blabber trying to lock him out, but Berserker goes down. It's an absolute disastrous dive. Shopify Revealing are the ones that turn it on its head. Oh. And it's a double for B-Boy. Yeah, they have the Glissage to try to get this gear. Big Gun is behind them. We'll see if they can get it. Nature's Grasp already is procs. Vulcan takes a lot of damage, but clean smite from Blabber. And the disengage is there. Already the hostile takeover breaks Shopify Revealing away from the rest of the fight, while Fake God, who was trying to move in for a flank, gets completely separated off. Bud just forced the flash. Vulcan gets chunked out. Bud, he's gonna go. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. The sleep from Boogie is gonna lock up two members from here. Decimating Smash Flash from Insanity catches a member from Cloud9 to once again. Vulcan goes down. Jojo's down. Shopify Rebellion are turning this fight around. EP's coming in. It's up to this fight right here, right now. 7,000 HP. Blabber does not have flash, so he's gonna have to walk up if he wants to make this steal. They turn, they look for the knockup. Vulcan is completely taken out, doesn't even get a chance to pop the hostile takeover. Budge is doing so much damage in the back line, but the Breath of Life gives them more HP on the backside as well. Boogie is keeping them alive, the Wilting Will by Connect. Berserker goes down, Jojo Pion in the 1v4! Can't do anything against them! Push going in towards the Nexus Towers already. Guys, About nine the though. They can find an angle here, this could maybe be bad for shot by the B-Boy! Oh, he takes out Jojo Pion, the Vayne is gone! Fudge is completely routed off from the rest of Cloud9. He's doing everything he can, but everything that he can is just not enough to hold Shopify Rebellion from claiming what they want. The rest of Cloud9 are left to scraps. They've got nothing left in the tank. The Liltic Lullaby puts them to sweep as the dosage of NyQuil takes them out of this game. Shopify pick up their first win against the ever-dominant Cloud9. Now we have to be scared of a few more picks. Is when you start snowballing, okay. you're going to be a problem, but they're locked in FBI. Well, I think you may have cast a curse, or maybe not. They throw out the hostile takeover, but it ain't enough. Bucio is going to be taken down. The bailout will not save him. Oh. Battle Fox with a massive ulti on the two more. Masu and Inspire are not long for this world. Daisy's going to guarantee it. And Contracts gets the last hit. It's a 10 to 4 game. It's 4,500. So the great sweep there is too. So anytime FlyQuest are trying to look for a way into this game, it's being having the exact opposite reaction. He's loving his performance in this game. A tale of two bottom lanes. <laughs> And we're not gonna stop there. Who he might not be so happy after this one. The three-man surprise attack, but it's immediately canceled. And FBI saves its support and throws him back into the magnet storm. Oh, he's gonna oh, die! How did he not die? You gotta be kidding me! Dolphin's coming in, he's going all out! It's a tool for nothing for energy. Who he had no right to get away there, but the man did it anyway. Whippo now gonna be attacked by contracts as Palafox and the Ivern will work together and oh! take down the Dunkmaster before he can leave the ground. Also has Callista. That's a lot of control over this as Dokla goes over the wall. He's going to be trying to deal with Inspire, keep him away, guarantee the fight secure on the objective. There it is. Inspire's already dead too. He had to try to go in and do something, but all he did was die. Masu's your next target. who he's into the back line. A double kill over to Palafox as Bucio falls. Jensen in the back. Jensen in the dirt. And energy absolutely rolling a power. Oh, it's done. Nice shot over the wall coming in from Masu to help Whippo get it done. But now Whippo's got to be careful. Buhi chasing after Masu as FBI can just kite Whippo straight to hell. Don't think it's going to land where it is. Buhi! Buhi with a massive engage for the Magnus Storm as Jensen gets absolutely melted. The rampage for who he's going to lead the way as Inspired will burn down contracts. FBI and Daisy all working together to chase after him. It's already two dead bodies in FlyQuest jerseys. Make it three as Masu falls to the Intofos of Dokla. Only two left standing on FlyQuest. Whippo finally chops down the tree, but it will cost him his own life to do it. FBI and who he's 206th game together. And massive, massive bot lane dip is gonna get energy another dub. Lucky number 206, energy gonna hand FlyQuest their first loss and save Dumpty and, and was able to open up that opportunity and, and buy that time and then all of Team Liquid collapsing here, running Immortals off of the play, taking the Dragon for themselves. This just looks so much better. Well, Castle's going in after Impact, all out on the Cassante for a solo kill. Oops. Come in and stop him. 
Let's see the ulti over the wall here. Twisted Advance making its way forward. Castle wants to be on the front line. Does not find the Q3 onto APA. Immortals now backing up as Impact is ready for the collapse. The Pinsir Assault for Team Liquid could go through. Maokai ulti already being used though. Removes some of those big tools. Bard ulti does not hit APA. The Dragon slain by Team Liquid to steal it away. As Tactical is stuck inside the pit. APA Buster shots him out too early. Tactical lives. Immortals at least are going to get a one for one here with the very start. But where's the fight going to go after it? Tactical's over the wall. Still only at 100 HP. Castle is fighting. Castle, the hero of the day for IMT. Backline. Core JJ, look at the minimap. Core JJ is coming around for the flank, but he's kind of far away and he's going to have to come through Immortal Vision. Castle, this is not the spot he wants. Nice Bard ulti there on a three. Castle trying to hit the Q3, but he missed times and he goes right through a bunch of golden statues. Core still looking for the angle here off the side as Immortals regroup and look to defend themselves against the quickness. Castle charging the W, finds the knock on the two, goes all out. Core JJ is going to be the target. He wants to try to isolate him as Ulti is going to be locked down here by Armeo. Kill the jungler. Stop the dragon immediately. Impact already down to one third. Core JJ singing the same song. Immortal still chasing after him, but it's Team Liquid and APA onto the Drake. This is Mountain Soul if they get it. Impact's taking a lot of damage. The shield trying to protect him, but it will not work. Tackle gets the kill. The Drake goes over to Team Liquid, but what about the fight after? Humpty's in the middle of everybody. Moonlight Vigil looks all right, but it doesn't do enough Baron, damage. Baron, Double Baron. Throwback Reckons on the Elder. Immortals trying to avoid fighting while that is still active, but the Maokai ulti flies out. Locks down three, but they're still beneath both the Nexus turrets, so they can't force the fight just yet. First Nexus turret is about to die. Tactical under pressure, but Castle's the only one soaking the damage for now. Ole firing off the ulti, and again, he's found APA. Castle goes in. Armeo's taken low. He's got to try to survive here. Castle's into the back line, but Team Liquid is still all right. Core JJ gets ulted by the Vi, but it's still only the support taken out in exchange for Castle. Armeo into the back. Yon has fallen, but Mask is dead too. APA is free firing, and Team Liquid's winning the fight. The Azir turret was summoned up before Mask died, but it ain't gonna matter. They still got APA. The triple kill for the Tristana. They tried to focus him down all game, but it ain't gonna work. He jumps on Taxman's head. Immortals put up a valiant effort, but Team Liquid's the better team today. A quadra kill for APA and TL. a team at the top of the standings and a team at the bottom. These are the situations where the bottom tier teams usually struggle more as Matt is going to be caught out by the Chains of Corruption, but immediately follows it up here with a stasis. Now, how is C9 going to follow it? Castle is going to drop it. He'll trade him away from Vulcan Fudge here on the front line, thrown up into the air, but the counterattack coming out from C9 as Glamour looks to chase him back. Piercing arrow through two. Now C9 still trying to regroup as JoJo's off to the side. He wants to find a mark, but he won't get one just yet. Tactical's in hot pursuit, and JoJo is shooting back. Tactical loses the trade, but the Mystic Shots are still flying. Nobody on C9's dying. Before Immortals arrive, so it's going to be a fight, and C9 are in a bad spot. C9 have it down to about 6k. Daisy is summoned up in the pit. Bear Castle still being held at about 5k. Castle coming around from the side. Blabber and Fudge into the back line. Mudge is here in the front. He's not going to be taken down just yet as Castle kills Blabber. Fudge dropping low. Jojo dropping lower. Oh my god! Immortals are crushing Cloud Knock! Nah. And the True Shot Barrage goes wide. Five seconds on Blabber. 15 on Jojo. 20 on Fudge. None of it's going to matter. Ladies and gentlemen, where were you when Immortals smacked Cloud Knock in the mouth? GG! Cash out. Energy now trying to regroup. TL still grouped up as more of a squad. Halifax getting engaged on by Umpty, but where's the follow-up? Core JJ ends up ulting his own dude, and Energy is not too scared about where this one's going. Now they go over the wall, they try to get bound up, but it's Core JJ still not finding what he needs. Collateral damage from contracts kills off the enemy jungler, and Team Liquid still trying to fight. The soldiers charge forward, but Energy falls back. Contracts and Pass is doing a lot of work here for APA and Team Liquid. The shockwave on three. Core JJ is already down. APA still the stasis, but now he's ready to try to turn it around here with a massive ulti. Don't get dropping Palafox with the stasis, making the outplay. Everybody's dead. A triple kill back over to Palafox. Energy have caught him to pieces. And Team Liquid. But Energy could change that in the blink of an eye. Doka trying to jump forward. Finds the Intofo strikes of the APA, who he's ready to jump out to. But now the stasis once again, keeping the Emperor alive. Impact trying to get back. Sun Disc raised on top of the ruins of Nexus turret number one. As Nexus turret number two falls. Bottom lane inhibitor just being chipped away at. As Contract is shuffled in. He's not going to die just yet. The shields keep him alive. Team Liquid will finally fall. They're working their way back, but Weaver's wall cutting off not all the way. There's the clans. B-Boy hops over the wall, but Zazel's stuck. And it's first blood heading over to Tomo, picking that one up on Bear.
Just line that one up yet. Yeah, it looks like Dignitas is trying to slow it down, but they've got Zan go with the TP into the mid lane river brush. Now TP coming on in by Rich. Infernal Drake getting down to 4,000 gold. XU goes on in, maybe a little bit early for Splash on back, gets the smite, and Dignitas pick up their first Drake, but here comes the fight. Spinning to win is insanity. The chef is cooking, but he does not get the kill. It's filthy Frank Tomo picking up the kill. Dubs picks up yet another one, and it's three kills heading on over to Dignitas. Which, where's the damage? going to come from. Keep your eyes on B-Boy's insanity goes on in, gets the Demacia Justice onto the Sejuani. B-Boy now isolating out Rich. Rich trying to get ranged out, but he gets taken down. B-Boy with three now, picks up a couple. It's Tomo and Isles, and they're stuck. Here comes the tree, putting him down. Tomo, gotta get cut down. B-Boy with the triple. Ah, a triple. Nice push, there. Yeah, <laughs> everyone got over. Now Fig got trying to buy a little bit of time. Donning Shadows, giving the shields over to Shopify. Where's the damage going to come from? And Sandy trying to spin to win, but he gets frozen down and taken out by Tomo. Thank God next on the menu. And it's three members down for Shopify. Dignitas with a comprehensive game to find the odds and find themselves a victory here in their fifth match of the season. The first game we played this week against them, when we were like found and diving people, I was like, I typed an ult trap for a turtle and then we killed them and ended the game. So yeah. fight together. Until win. then. Yeah. Can't steal the ultimate from Maokai. He uses the Emperor's Divide against Jensen and chunks out the mid laner. But now River was trying to find his way on into the Drake. And I don't think he's going to get bailed out here. No, he won't. Quick goes in, gets punched on out with the Bramble Smash. But now Meech is shown on up. Here comes the damage. And oh, the whole team by Nico pops up. The Kalista and he gets taken down. AOV pushed back. and they're turning it around. Yep, oh, and the top side, oh, Sniper! Gets taken down by the widest Whippo there is. Masu picks up one, he picks up two. No, it's Busio picking that one up, but two members. Got it down on the bottom side, Tribush. Ayla goes on in, forced to back on out, and here comes Whippo. Someone help me, she's forced to flash away and go off. And now Whippo just running amok in the middle of the fight. Meech is surrounded and taken down. It's Sniper left alive, he's able to pick up one, but now scurrying away as the rest of his team has died. And 100 Thieves get taken for the heist. It's a quadra kill for Whippo. And showing, hey, we can bounce back. Flukes are uh, not a thing here in the team with green. They're gonna take down the turrets. They're gonna take down the Nexus. Plus one more on Quid. 329 <laughs> career kills. Uh, there's career the wins. Dark Maul. There's the Dark Maul. There we go. That's what they were talking about. <laughs> FlyQuest take down 100 Thieves to kick off. He stops one of TL's kind of main win conditions for getting back in the game and Drake stacking, but now it's top lane. Yeah, Omti's coming around. He goes over the wall and they knock Ridge down. Nicely done from TL, but now on the other side of the map, it's 4JJ under pressure. XU going into the ulti here once again. Hostile takeover ain't gonna do much, but they don't even need it. Dignitas will make it a one end. Uh, and they keep in mind that Nocturne Ultimate has a short yeah. cooldown. Here we go. They want the engage. Yawn's going to be forced back up to flash out over the wall. Hostile takeover over the top finds impact and core JJ both. But there's no kills. Dignitas cannot seal the deal just yet as APA is under pressure. But the Infernal Chains will not pull him back. Now impact in the middle of everybody. And Rich gets buried. Yawn's the one with the shovel. And now Dove has to flash out as APA goes for another Emperor's Divide. Isle looking to see if he might be able to pick him up here with a handshake but it doesn't have the range. TL with a one for nothing. They should be able to finish here. Impact's gonna teleport back. He got his jack shell as well. XU popping the spell shield. Impact wants to wait. Ends up getting the stun, but the rest of the team still just playing it slow and steady. Takes out the third inhibitor turret. They take out the Nexus turrets there with the minions help. Team Liquid going for the throat. Dignitas, it's their last ditch defense. As Team Liquid still has five men in the base. There we go. 5v3 for the next 15 seconds. Hey! Calling is going out. There it is. Lucian is finally going to get a win here with the LCS. Only look at... Whoa. Never mind. Berserker under pressure, having a flash away, but Busio's ready to follow. Berserker's barely hanging on, but he gets buried underneath the anchor. Berserker and Vulcan dying in the 2v2. Masu <laughs> makes sure he gets them both. Okay. Long trade between them. Berserker continuing to eat those auto attacks as Busio goes in yet again with the dredge line. Vulcan down to 300. Masu down to 250. Berserker dashes in. Tragedy for C9 in the bottom lane. Berserker dead twice. Oh! Oh! 
Ignacio just lollipopped, and that was beautiful. You see it's Jensen up top, pushing for fly quest. But the goes. Same here for the bottom, but huge engage from Jojo! Masu's already down. Now Quinlow's trying to get something back. He goes all out and he wants the C9 mid laner. He's knocked up into the air, and fly quest get one. He's an even trade so far. Blabber's here on the front line, but even though the AD carry's dead, Inspired still has a lot of damage potential. Yeah, Blabber's gonna get hooked now. Dredge line hits him. Berserker coming in from the side, looking for the calling. Masu doesn't want to eat that whole thing, but Whippo's gone in. He wants Berserker. He's all out. Piercing arrow over the top to follow him up, and Berserker's already dead. Pop Blossom gets two. Whippo's locked down, but he's still alive. He gets away with a shield. As Inspired burns, but Defender, Jojo's Oriana should be able to walk this one away. Yeah. C9 still coming in. Jojo's got an unleashed teleport. That's one thing I'm going to look at here. And yes, they're going to commit it. Blabber, very low. Still trying to get back away. Jojo's ready to join up here with the team, but Fudge just melts first. Huge engage coming up from Jojo. Fly quest out mark. One, two, three, four. Fly quest are ace at the very end of the fight. And they can get an objective. C9 doesn't lose anybody. If they get chucked down too low, if they have to retreat too far behind the Nexus, they'll just end up dying. But now, we've got pressure back in the base as Jojo goes the engage, tries to knock him on to Masu and Bucio. Health bars are low, but at the same time, Fudge is losing the 1v1 off the side. Berserker's gonna be killed. FlyQuest are running him over. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be the game. There's no way for C9 to defend it anymore now. Four players down. FlyQuest is gonna go up to 5 and 1. They will take possession of first place by themselves. C9 drops to 3 and 3, and FlyQuest are the ones putting them there. My goodness. Last throwback. The Avenger squad are assembling once again, this time in the bottom lane. Here comes Castle. Tries to make them bounce again into multiple knockups, and that's Ayla going down. The teleport from Sniper comes in to alleviate pressure, but the damage has been done. They've already lost their support. Right, Sniper has to spend his teleport to get down there. Castle's still holding on to his, and he's just moving around here with Armeo. And they're hunting for Quid. He still doesn't have Flash. Shockwave catches both of them up. River with the Keeper's Verdict knocks them up again. The Dawning Shadow is going to keep Come them Sniper. away. Here comes Sniper. Cleans up Armeo, and now the rest of the kills is Sniper. the Olay ultimate as Armeo goes in once again, Breath of Life gives everyone the Glyn CC cleanse as the Shockwave does not really connect, but Sniper is the front line that just allows Hundred Thieves to do whatever they please in the base of Immortals as they've already lost two members here. Zack goes down, Olay's next. Sniper just looking for another knockup as well. Oh, maybe Tactical's able to look for a trade onto Ayla at least, but the damage just seems overwhelmingly. And Meech's favors, he flashes in, looks for the triple. It's now Mask 1v3, the Nexus Tower stands, but it later falls as hundreds of these fell, hundreds of mortals. Oh my goodness, what a banger game. Let's go. And his champion pool, both last split and this split, has actually really been a big talking point. Last split, he was playing mid lane graves and all this kind of stuff. This split, as, whoa. whoa, we just... We had it all in on the bottom side of the map. I don't know what happened. It was like a crash from the side of Energy to come to them. This could get dicey for yeah. Energy. Look at Palafox. He's trying to find some sort of an angle, but the carries really aren't over there. We'll see if they can find it. He's very far. Yeah, Fates call from FBI. Saves two key for now. Zazel is the one caught up. Paranoia from Contract as he sails on in. Four on five right now. Favored for Energy. Palafox. But Insanity and Fake God are doing great work on the front line. Palafox finds the angle. Pop Blossom over the wall. But will be enough. B-Boy's still alive. There's, there's no easy team. Like, when we're talking about strength of schedule, there's no free wins. Yep. With that, this might be the last paranoia we see in the game. Contracts, one last Hail Mary into the back line. Gets absolutely nothing as Boogie just pops the stasis as well. Fake God just doing a number on the back line as he's just burning everyone down on this Udyr. Shopify Rebellion have to deal with Palafox, but they blow him up before he even gets to pop his pop blossom. FBI, last member standing, instantly gets deleted, and Shopify Rebellion, a dominant win, takes out energy. What a stop by Shopify, 12,000 gold, 30 minutes, Soul Baron, everything going their way, obliterated <laughs> energy.
Zazel flash it in, have a little bit of fun with it. SD and Hib, uh, they're even taking down the mid lane and Hib there. Patting the stats a bit, having some fun with it. Get up. Busio trying to find an angle on the side here, but with no Bard ultimate, it could be tough. Yeah, look at Whippo then, because Whippo's ultimate is ready. He's got flash ready on the Gragas. This is like dream playmaking opportunity, and they go top. Yeah, Jensen's going in on to Rich. Not going to be able to get the reset, but they do force the flash. Inspired, though, trying to go forward, trying to get in range. As Masu's going to have to flash out of there. There's the Heartbreaker from Exu. Exu trying to finish him off, but Masu is cutting out. Masu is still alive, and on the other side, it's Jensen taking over the fight that just on and going crazy. Showing who the better mid laner is in this one, as it's Jensen with the triple, it's Jensen with the quadra, and it is FlyQuest marching on the Baron. This is this is a very difficult problem to solve, and they're coming in. Yeah, they're gonna be looking for the engage now. Tomo does get caught by that Bard ulti. They're fighting on the turret, which might give them an opportunity. The deep water dive does connect on Masu, but it doesn't even matter. He ignores the Tom Kench. He flashes in on the carries, and Masu and Jensen ripping through the team. It's another triple for Jensen. 9-0 and 2 on the Tristana. FlyQuest will end the first round robin. Will end Super Week in sole possession of first place. So that's a positive. But we'll see if the fight's gonna break out here as there's the calling for Berserker. Chunking down core, but Yon gonna get a trade back. And on the other side, Umti's going forward. Jojo's gonna have to flash out. Umti in some trouble, but he will go down. As it's Berserker that gets the first blood, but he comes in back. And Cloud9 are falling. Flabber caught into an awkward spot here as he's gonna try to run past APA, but APA satchels him into the team. Again, by the calling, but it's just really not amounting to much. A couple autos and an execution could be it, and the TP's coming in. This could be the last stand for Cloud9. They're trying to step up, but Berserker's already chunked so low. In comes Fudge, he's gonna scoop ABA against the wall. Can they burst them down? The Shockwave's gonna connect, but there's the Wild Growth, there's the Shield, and there's Jojo on the run. As Impact is pushing forward on the Blabber. Blabber in trouble, Umti connects with the Q. Ward hops forward, trying to finish him off, and there's the kick flash on Jojo. Jojo is down, and Cloud9 are crumbling. TL in the base, but it's Cloud9's no longer. Yon flashes forward, there's another kill for TL. It's a double for the Aphelios, as Liquid are marching on the Nexus. Looking to put the finishing touches on this one, trying to finish the first half of the split. Four and three, and then Cloud9, their fourth straight loss. Gonna have a really nice time with yeah, they are trying to play mid lane, though, to set up, and Zazel lands another hook. Yeah, Zazel goes in. They want to focus on the Tom Kench, because they know that Ayla would be able to save Meech. Vickskin's going to keep him alive, but now Boogie's got to flash away as River's ready to make his entrance. Boogie down to 400 HP. He wants to try to turn it back around. Ooh. There's the damage just pouring oh. in. Yeah, they're going to lose so Boogie, but a double kill for the brand as he dies. He'll take close to himself a little bit with, with the River. Yeah, this could be a problem for uh, Wow, he really needed no to make fly. sure he got away from that, but I don't know if he can get away from this. This one, the follow-up coming in with an F charge. Shopify is gonna burst down the Aatrox or not! The life steal is incredible! Quinn is still fighting, but they finally drop him there thanks to Boogie. A big sleep's about to come in, and Sniper's rampaging. Insanity tries to get away back up the wall, but he's flashed into enemy territory. A one for one. We like their 5v5 team comps. Another one coming together here in the end. All right, Sniper getting caught out now. Let's see how he wants to play it from nice. here. Zazel. I think he just went for me too. Yeah, he is just turning it right back around on these guys. He is not afraid. He'll take one whether he's still alive. They will finally bring him down. One for one here so far. But they got an insanity. Are not Boogie getting away from this one. It's a three for one trade. Make it four for one. We have 163. That's so many at 27 minutes. I think for a lot of the games, it's following around River. <laughs> oh, Boogie gets dunked. They're going to trade him for Sniper. It's a one for one. Sniper is happy to make these plays. He is role playing the Viking lifestyle. As now, we've got Zazel trying to get out, but Quinn is Quinn not going to allow it. He keeps on chasing after B-Boy. The oh Infernal chains the auto attacks. They just bulldoze him. Insanity's back alive, but it's only in time to get another death. Zero, five, and three on the Scion about to become. Oh, there it is, man. one and six. He takes one with him as he goes. But everybody on Shopify is dead. There's still enough bodies here on 100 Thieves. They'll push in and take the dog. Man, it almost feels like one of those solo queue games where they want the game to just keep going because it's so much fun to be this far ahead. But you're absolutely right. 100 Thieves are going to take this one and move to two, to four, and three. Looks like Shopify met their match with the, the Scion this time. Immortals looking to challenge this. Castle has his teleport ready. He's going to be the one teleporting oh, in wow. alongside Dokla. Ole is very low and he has to try to get away. Now Castle's here with the 
middle of everybody. World Ender's ready to go. It work. He needs to train tank and his Arneo's over to kill off Uhi. Castle's gonna drop to Dokla, but now where's the fight go? Contract's looking for the reset as Arneo has to disengage. Palafox wants to flank, and he jumps into the back line. Arneo barely gets away. So as Energy turns attention right back over to Drake. Palafox is the only Energy player still with a good health player to work with. Dragon's gonna go over to Arneo and IMT. Now Dokla's stuck in the pit. Tacno coming up, trying to pick off a little bit more HP as Immortals are still seeing if they can grab something off the back end of the fight. Immortals still chasing. Palafox attaches to change the mask. Now oh. Immortals ready to go in and mask full. Ole's about to drop two. Immortals with an egregious overextension and energy with a triple kill to Viego. Got all the stacks of the Blighted Quiver on it. Who he owns here over the top, Ole's here for the front line. He's isolated away from the rest of the team, but he is Leona, tanking it up here for a while. FBI grabbed the kill, Immortals still having to drink very low. They will secure it, they'll go to soul point, but they're here in a 4v5. Shot by only by Tuhi. Palafox going in for mass. Looks to find a little bit more damage as Palafox is leading the charge. Who he's very low on contract is gonna be killed by Tactical. Oh. The shutdown back over to the AD, carried from IMT. Castle is still fighting. Ray Boss Aatrox! Palafox and FBI head for the hill. But it's FBI heading for the dirt. Dokla wants to get away, but Tactical's just gonna put a few arrows in him. A triple kill to the Immortals bot laner. Immortals six man this game. They're full health once again. They're on Huhi. Oh, he gets caught out though. The chains of corruption to lock him down. They want to go in and try to burst him before anybody can say anything about it. Nicely done. Castle grabbing the kill. Now the rest of energy trying to retreat as Armeo's providing the threat off to the side. Dokla burst down the front line as Castle keeps the chase going. FBI and Palafox trying to get away, but FBI is caught. He is not the one who knocks! It's Immortals knocking everybody down today! Contracts trying to get away, Palafox trying to heal up, and Immortals trying to end the game now! They've got the wave, they've got all five players alive. Palafox, Ole! Ole! The Chad Leona will lock down LeBlanc and stop the fancy feet! Contracts can't reset, and that'll do it! It's three seconds on who he, but everybody else is dead for another 15. Immortal should win the game right here. IMT coming together as a team. Who he's gonna jump forward on tactical. He just wants to waste their time. But Immortals have their eyes on the prize. They'll end the first round round of three and four, and they'll do it, taking down the reigning champ. They've already got it below 6K, below 5K, down to 4K. Dokla's coming in, trying to stop him, but C9 wants to burn it. Blabber secures the Baron as Fudge tries to dive into the middle of everybody and contracts his control. Jojo's barely getting away, a missile dive on the four. Fudge is stuck back in the bin as Dokla tries to tear him up, and FBI's grabbing a shutdown. Energy, need to find more. Blabber with a flash out, trying to get himself back to the base while still wearing the purple. He throws out the W, but he gets slowed down by the tongue. FBI still trying to pursue him, still trying to pick into a bear, and never mind, we ain't yeah. done yet. Contract's gonna be gone here with the top. Cinna ulti trying to reinforce him, keep protected, but Fudge does a lot of damage. Contract's still alive as JoJo gets away into the back. Palafox wants to chase, and JoJo's on the run. Palafox goes in, but JoJo shovels him right back. Palafox denied. Energy died, and C9 is loving the way this mid game's been going. Joke was trying to get away, but no, sir. Fudge knocks him down. And Berserker's ending the game the whole time. <laughs> Berserker's just over here annihilating towers. That's the ADC dream right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's inside the base, so are the rest of Cloud9, and they're going for it. Cloud9 had a rough week last time around, but they're ready to stop that here. Who he is not gonna stop anything on his own. The C9 loss streak will grind to a halt as they defeat Energy again, 16 to eight. Classic Dark Seal. Uh-oh, Max getting jumped on here. The Abscon, the Abduct, the immediate crash down to follow it up, but Immortals are keeping the mid laner alive. A massive amount of AOE, the spiraling despair has found multiple targets. Dub dies first, Max stays alive. Rich misses the target, he barely finds the kill in the back end, but now Castle's made his rotation into the fight here too. Aramayo with a room caller, and Rich is about to drop. Immortals. Throw words uh, into that brush early on in the game, almost always pays dividend. Rich 
Okay, the 1v1. Castle trying to flash it out, playing him, and he does it. Castle wants to walk up here from this angle, but he's got to be careful. Tomo, again, they're going to put some damage into Ole. Castle could be caught as Rich and XU both go in, but they ain't going to find the mark. Smolder ulti goes wide. Immortals regroup. They're going to be healed and shielded by Armeo Diver, but now Rich wants to drive in. It's Ole right in the middle of everybody, but Tomo's ready to counterattack. Castle wants the Smolder, but he ain't going to find him. Tomo's already killed off two, and now Immortals, where can you even go? A triple kill back to Smolder. 25 on the two solo laners of Immortals, as Tactical will not live through it. Isles and the rest of Dignitas will get this done. They will tie Immortals in the standings and take them out in 34 minutes. And back to Sniper trading heavily here. River is going to find Core JJ looking for the dazzle with the flash, the guaranteed right on top of it. Quinn is in there as well, Weaver's wall, but Ayla is buying time on Yon and APA. Yon calls over Core JJ with that face call, gets the two man knockup as well. Looking for the dazzle sun. River right on top of Yon, no damage to follow up. Sniper's looking for it, but Yon is guiding around. He's safe. APA is also safe. Team Liquid running away with the fight once again. Quinn's in trouble. He's gone. Just ult out. You know, had he died right before Baron or right by Baron, maybe they go oh, away. Ayla in trouble. Ayla right onto Yon, but the cost of creating there to guarantee no burst will come through. Umti is front loading all the damage as well, stunning up quit. Meanwhile, they find Yon onto the back line, but there's no damage to follow up. Yon is still alive. Ayla's trying to keep him busy, but AP is winning the fight for Team Liquid while Yon is being kept busy. Oh. Cypher wins one on the impact and Umti. Into that more easily. Uh, but that really is their only heal cut right now. And River does get stunned up, but Umti's in trouble. Ayla finds an engage on the Umti. Meech has already done a decent amount of damage. Cosmic Radiance prevents further burst coming in as Impact March Sniper. Here comes Ayla looking for the engage on APA. The but flip. the face is there's the flip from Quinn. He finds it once again. Shockwave is going to delay time, but APA still goes down. Yon is on the left side. Quinn turns tail. They got him! 100 Thieves! They got both of the carries! And now Team Liquid are running for the hills. But Impact, it's not a heist. It's a promise that Wave is going to crash unless his bar can come hold it. Uh, at the very least, he's going to lose some of these minions, but we'll see. Can they get B-Boy, who has no flash? Yeah, no flash available. He might pop the ghost, but they knock up into the queue. It guarantees the damage, but B-Boy does enough damage with Zazel. Uh -oh. They get first blood, and now Inspired is forced to uh -oh, flash. Don't tell ghost. me. He gets out the ghost, kiting this one out. Inspired's waiting for the queue. Zazel uh -oh. flashes in front. Need to make this work. They, they are all in on this play. A teleport is coming in from Shopify. Will it come in time, though? Here comes Mom. They got a lot of damage, but B-Boy comes from the right. As he looks to be able to equalize the fight, Faycon has already fallen, but Quippo might be the next one, as B-Boy cannot step up in range. And Sandy gets speared by Jensen on the back half. That's a double over to Fly Quest and a little bit of light. Yeah, that is big, getting a couple kills. They needed to make this play work here. Shopify try to come in and save him. B-Boy in some trouble, potentially. Boostia looking for the hook, but he dodges out with his own flash. Sazel getting bounce house in the middle of all of them, but B-Boy finds one back on a Jensen. Now it's the kind this one out against Whippo, but he doesn't have the ultimate anymore. Moss is able to deal the finishing blow alongside Whippo. Here comes Boogie. Cyclone finds the baby dragon as now Whippo is left to scraps, but he's got three more members. Oh, Busio, he falls. Does Busi, but Boogie does have enough damage here. Here comes the teleport. The fight has lasted so long. I don't think he has flash available. He gets taken out very early on. Masu is the next target. He has the Seekers this time for the Stasis, but will even fall. He had the 225 stacks, but just not enough damage as Jensen is trying to do work on the front line while Whippo is stalling, but it's just not enough. The empire of these top teams stand no match for the rebellion of Shopify. Because we just watched Jojo die. He actually had the, the second highest total CS of any major region at 14. Um, Whoa. Only player with more would show me. Hold on. Blabber immediately starting things off here as River has to disengage and Sniper's got the kill back on the Sejuani. Both junglers are going to drop, but Fudge is also killed. 100 Thieves are up one in the skirmish as Jojo finally makes his way into things, but 100 Thieves are ready to keep this pressure off. Yeah, they're looking to play for the next wave. Not sure if this next one's going to be a cannon minion, but with two people down from C9 side, Jojo they're going, going in. He wants the perfect execution, but it's Quinn executing Jojo. A killing spree for the Talia. Oh, back a wave, this one being Motley. Just to find the fight. Here's one. River immediately just getting bursted oh, down. Indeed. Nicely done with the bar and ult again from Vulcan. And C9 sees their green line. A double kill for Berserker. He's going to make it three. Is this the return of the pit to kill Pikachu? Berserker's got a quadra. Fudge trying to keep Quinn locked down. Tread it. Run from it. Zeri arrives all the same. A pit to 
kill for Berserker. Oh, but he's gotta be careful. Oh, two ults go out, two ults go wide. C9 looking for their chances. Jojo wants to make an entry here with a flank. Berserker is the MVP. That's the guy you gotta keep your eyes on. As Blabber's gonna be engaged on, and Jojo is killed in the smoke. Fudge tries to dive into the back line, but he ain't gonna find the damage just yet. Berserker has to kite backwards. Hundred days found three kills. Berserker and Vulcan now seeing if they can get anything else. They want to allow the Zeri ulti to go away on Hundred Thieves' side. They don't want to fight Berserker in this. He's still trying to see what he might be able to pick up. Hundred Thieves 5v2 are being pushed back by the two. Berserker jumps over the wall, but he goes too far forward. Quinn rides the wall trying to take him out, oh. but the shutdown for Got Berserker him. as he burns away the ace for one. Jojo had to go back and try to defend that one, and C9 is right it. back onto it now. A TP going into the enemy base from Hundred Thieves as all of C9 is fighting for the other trade. The Quinn and Sniper are just trying to end it. Jojo needs the damage, but he doesn't have it here just yet. Sniper wants to go for the next set. Jojo Control ward from energy in the back side of the pit. Baron at 5k, who he's gonna be engaged on. Smolder ulti over the top. Isles down below half HP as Rich goes all out. And FBI is now on the wrong side of the river. Rich is killed off the Smolder and contracts into the middle of everybody in the worst kind of way. Who he drops next? Big Dig has absolutely crushed energy. Five, four, nothing. They did it, and they made it look easy. Tripped into mid lane to stop him. The rest of Dignitas now up here with the top side. Contracts wants to go for the dive, but that Saya, it just ain't gonna work. Tomo puts a feather through his heart, and immediately Dokla gets locked down as he tries to ready the elastic slingshot. Now Rich has made his entrance back into the fight, as who he's in trouble. Dump jumps over the wall and continues auto attacking. Dokla's trying to bounce, but the only place he's bouncing to is straight back into the fountain. Dump keeps going forward, and Palafox has to retreat. Dignitas is taking no prisoners. Dignitas are crushing energy. Dub just hops in. Buster shots FBI out. The only threat on the team. They knock down the Zack and they're pushing for the Nexus. There they go. It's a 3v5 for energy as Rich and the rest of Dignitas keep this push going. First Nexus turbine already down. Palafox back onto the stairs of the fountain. Dignitas keeping that push going. Nexus half HP. Contracts trying to threaten Dub. FBI grabs a kill on Isles. But the game is over, 14 to four, Dignitas take it. Chunk out of Shopify Rebellion as well. Umpty dashes in. Big God forced to peel back. The equalizer comes through. Big God taking a lot of damage. Here comes Boogie over the top, trying to prevent Yon from doing damage. APA's backing him up. Boogie, one last ditch effort, but he still goes down. Meanwhile, Team Liquid cleaned up the rest of the fight on the back half. A triple four impact. Yeah, last ditch effort from Shopify. If they can find someone to get back in this game, it has to be now. He finds APA, forced to flash, but the root from Yon keeps Big God at a distance. Someone who watched a lot of Umpty in L his LCK career, right? It's just great to see him go in and engage on something like the Xin Zhao. He loves champs like this to just kind of go in and lead his team. The fearless Admiral once again from Korea comes in with Team Liquid and leads them to another victory. This Doesn't is. flash over the wall, but he gets in range to face call thanks to Masu burning him over. 2,000 HP. The secure comes from FlyQuest. Here comes the Avengers. Immortal trying to collapse on in. Weaver's Wall already cuts off their escape route. Whipple's trying to deal with their mail on the backside, and he's chunking him out. But Castle's already found Busio on in the back. The rest of FlyQuest have to keep them at bay. Good Emperor's Divide from Jensen. Holds the line against Immortals. As now Masu, it's all up to him and inspired to look to the reset. Here he comes. Heartbreaker 1 flashes away. He draws. It's a gold card. Looks for the sun and the castle. Reset again, another heartbreaker, and Masu cleans up the last one. The rest of the Immortals are trying to get into the pit. They've got to make a play now. This is their only hope for Immortals. Ole is able to dash on through with the Twisted Advance to the Rift. 
but the Scuttle Crab, Wimbo makes his front advancements first. Here comes Castle, season and desist, right into Monster. They look for the rookie. Castle tries to do everything he can. Tentacles hitting one card after the other. Inspire is able to chase them out. Basu falls, huge knockoff, multiple bounce outs. What the hell is going on in this fight? Inspired is looking for the recents as well. Can he be able to clean up as he fights right on his advance? Castle and Tactical, can they clean this one up? It's so close, but here comes Inspired. It was a last ditch effort, but Inspired made a name on this champion in EU, and he shows why he is so damn good on Diego. Time, FlyQuest march into the base to soar to first place in the LCS. Everybody's getting quadras on FlyQuest, and they're gonna get the dub in the LCS. We're gonna pat the KDA too. Oh my goodness, God. guys, guys, relax, relax, finish the game. <laughs> I love the LCS, man. Indian, but not gonna be able to do it just yet. Castle on the side, trying to poke away a fake god. He's gonna be stepping forward, but there's the nature of grass going in from Oleg. Gonna be looking for the twisted advance as Armeo jumps over the top and just Goomba stops B Boy. He's gone already. And Tactical has gotta be careful. A lot of damage coming through there from Insanity. The spiraling despair cooking up Immortals as they all funneled in and got AoE down by Huey. And now, now gonna be TPing in. We'll see if the turn's gonna come in. This TP is pretty risky. He's gonna get rooted up by Huey. We'll see if they can find an angle. In goes Castle. Castle flying in the back line. There's a flash of Mega Nar across multiple members. In comes Mom Olay in the back line as well. But it is Immortals who are falling. It's Immortals who are on the run. The Dawning Shadow gonna claim the life of Maz. Tactical trying to make it happen all by himself here as Armeo is chasing after Zazel. May be able to get this one kill. We'll see if they can get anything else from this, but now they just need to buy time. They can even threaten a TP into the base here. It's going to be a TP back to the Elder, though. They're going to claim this. Shopify will get the Elder, and it's going to be hard. Tactical's got no ult, no sums. They're going to be looking right for him. Ole is back up. We'll see if they can buy some time, but look at Armeo. He's going down so fast already, and Tactical is gone. Chopped in half by Fake God as the World Ender will spell the end of Immortals in this one. Shopify got ahead big early, but they outplay them in the late game. On the round here, Mabusio's in the area. We'll see if they can chase him down. The slice is connected to nothing, so he has no dice. There's the enchanted crystal there. The tether's gonna be there. The TPs are coming in here. Jojo arrives, Flabber in the area. FlyQuest will have to disengage. Inspired hunting on the side. Jojo goes for it. Nice flash out from Busio. It's going to keep him safe from the Emperor's Divide. But Jojo tethered up and Whipo's flashing in. Here comes the Dawning Shadow from Berserker. Just barely going to keep Jojo alive. Who's just too damn tanky for FlyQuest. Vulcan now in the back line. Blabber is here. FlyQuest are shattered and they're on the run. No one dropping on the Cloud9 side. Only way they can do anything is if they can one shot you. Can't one shot this Azir. There's the Emperor's Divide and Whippo. He's not nearly as tanky as that Azir. Wishes he was, but he's gonna go down in a hurry. As Cloud9 step forward, there's the flash. The Death Charge connects onto Masu, and it's the dredge line onto Busio. You thought they were going for 180 carry, but they can take either one of them as Masu's gonna flash out. Inspire Twisted Advance forward, but it's not gonna mean anything. This is Cloud9's base now. They're pushing forward and looking to put the finishing touches on this one, Kobe. Cloud9, they've made the adjustments. They are back with a vengeance. Cloud9 coming off that two week break and looking damn good after it. Jojo flying forward, looking to knock down these final members here. FlyQuest trying to turn it around on the Berserker who is getting low and they have the benefit of that fountain healing them up here, but it's not gonna mean much. Cloud9 gonna be able to finish off the Nexus here in sub 30 minutes and they are back, baby. Impact to maintain his presence here in the lane. As you can see, Contract is pushed up into the enemy jungle, stealing away the red buff from Humpty. As Impact steps forward, Core JJ coming in for the Shattering Strike. His FBI is going to be pulled back, but he all out. The crash down, ready to take him out. And Impact goes on a killing spree. A teleport's ready to make its way into the fight now, as Whoa. Humpty wants to reinforce. Contract is going way to him. Humpty just gobbles him down. And now you got Dopa and Palafox trying to get something back on the oh back end of the fight, but Impact barely gets away. APA and who he are in a 1v1, then on try for us at the same time. Senna ulti comes over the top, but it don't get much. Team Liquid do not lose a man. They pick up two more kills. <laughs> okay, we're not oh, done yet. Never mind. Hold on. Here comes the shuffle now. Up he's in trouble. Palafox gonna pick up the first kill of the game for energy. That solo kill on top, but I don't necessarily think where it matters. Like if Team Liquid 
Ooh, Ooh. Hoping they need kills on Azir and Seraphine. Well, who he's already gone in and Yon's under pressure. FBI is ready to follow it up and try to take oh. him out. Core JJ with a magnet storm, but where's the damage? Team Liquid deal no damage. They're gonna kill Palafox, but that's the only one. 130 HP right now. And he's so, at four and a half thousand health, but then the Canic Shield and the W Shield puts him over six, wow. six yeah. guys. Would they yeah. really kill him? Oh yeah, really close. Oh boy. Let's see what Tell we got. Moving? Oh, there is. They, they broke through <laughs> the right. shields. They broke through the first shield. Here comes another shield. They actually Team Liquid them. is throwing everybody in the kitchen sink here with the Nautilus. <laughs> Dawning Shadow over the top. The Nautilus uh, still ain't no. dead. Why are we over committing to the Nautilus? Team Liquid contracts coming in on top of APA, but he ain't gonna find him here. Just did FBI flashing back away as APA goes golden. That's nothing but a trophy for energy as APA drops in core JJ's trying to get the hell out of town. Who he and the rest of energy still going oh. in. They thought they caught the knot. He's so tanky, man. Baron at about 8,000 HP. All right, so Baron is down to about Nautilus health now. <laughs> As Contracts continues keeping the aggro here, Impact stepping forward onto the front line, but he gets locked down. A lot of damage coming out on him. Takes him down to about 1,000. Don't think here in the front. As the Dawning Shadow fires off down to the mid lane, Palafox versus APA in a 1v1. It's up the Impact and Yon trying to turn the attention back into Dokla. He's trying to end their world, and he's going to do it. FBI and the rest of Energy slaughter TL in the 4v4. APA and Palaf get more items by the end of this one. Energy <laughs> pop off at the start of the final two weeks of the LCS, equaling Team Liquid 5-5. Five five. This could be game deciding. All right, five players strong for 100 Thieves here in the bot side river. Tomo coming in with the TP as Weaver's Wall separates the Thieves. Rich on the flank compared to the rest of the Dignitas squad. They kick the trundle back into the pit, but he flashes back in to rejoin the fight. The dragon's still at about 1,500. This XU is going to be taken low. The Drake claimed by 100 Thieves. Tomo trying to escape as they land Sniper. Want to finish him off. Sniper goes in after Tom, but they split their aggro. They both die. 100 Thieves, though, still winning the fight overall. It's three dead on the side of Dignitas. It's about to be four as Meech puts a bullet in Tomo. 10 seconds on XU. Tomo doesn't have an ulti here to fight with. Quid and the rest of 100 Thieves still pushing up. Rivers here on the front line as Sniper's gonna be devoured back to safety. First Nexus turret focused down and that one's gonna drop. Isles dies as well as Rich tries to stand and fight and finally Quid is knocked over. Rich ready to keep this one going as Dub throws out the projectiles. Dignitas is barely hanging on and 100 Thieves are not leaving yet. Another lick comes out from Ayla. They lock down Dub again. He's gone. Maybe the Abyss will die. The Abyss will die. Meech going on a rampage as Dub takes out Sniper. Now XU and Wrench have to try to survive here in the 2v3. Ayla, once again, Abyss will die, bleeding the way. Meech is all the damage. Rich and XU know it. They gotta play smart around this. But Rich here on the front line, finally gonna be bursted low. Bursted down. Meech is unstoppable. As XU, the last man standing. But he's only Lee Sin. It's 33 minutes into the game. They're just gonna kill the Nexus instead. 100 Thieves are going to get it done. They'll pad the stats a little bit before they stop. XU finally falls over. Isles respawns only to die again. They're gonna lock him up too. They just wanna make sure they look good doing it. 100 Thieves farming them in the fountain. 100 Thieves on the Nexus. 100 Thieves are tied for first place on the map, so they're very strong at the moment. They're gonna look for Palafox. The Flash does not escape the Sharima shuffle. Beautifully done by Mask. Yeah, Mask gets him, but now Energy with a counterplay on top side. It looks like they are gonna abandon the Dragon spawn since they got one already, and they're going to try and get some money into the vein. Castle pops the Dominus. Meanwhile, FBI is also getting pressured here. The Keeper's Verdict from Contract knocks Castle up as he tries to buy as much time as he can with the Dominus. One more on attack from Dokla kills him. Meanwhile, FBI is experiencing the same treatment on the other side of the map. This is huge for Immortals. They win mid, they win bottom. They're gonna get the Dread. Energy with the five people strong. This turret's going down. Who he links right onto Ole. He gets pulled back by Tactical. Our male forced to flash away. It was getting too dangerous. Ole with a two man knockup. Mask for the Sharima shuffle. Hits Dokla and contracts in the mouth. Mask is count all between them, but pops the stasis to keep himself alive. Nice hook from Ole. Catches contracts. Immortals swoop the fight. And they can look to the Baron. To two. Tower's almost down. Armeo says it's go time. They burn down the tower with the ultimate. The flash play from Ole looks to lock up who he, he goes down. Mass picks up that one. Ole is safe thanks to the Fates call from Tactical. And a, a lot of value. And now with the Baron melting, they've got to go for it. 4,000 HP contract. And to be a hero! Contracts might just save the game by stealing the Baron away from.
from Immortals. They look to catch out Mask. He pops the Stasis, by some time, takes a lot of HP. And Contracts, don't tell me he gets out of this one. The Weaver's Wall is going to cut out the rest of Immortals. <laughs> and Contract pushing through. Now, Contracts is going to look for Mask, but Ole is there for the saving. The box, but it's tactical with the Fates Call, keeps Ole alive. Castle TPing, looking for the flank on the light play, but Ole gets flipped back. That's one for energy. Can they carry this forward? They kite on back. They isolate Castle. The dredge line connects. Castle's completely gone. Energy, five up to three. Trying to push up, and energy are collapsing on them. Chain of Corruption lands onto Ole. Tactical with the Fates Call, pulls him safe. The Weaver's Wall looking to catch out Tactical. Palfox is onto the backside. Flash, Death Charge right on the Tactical. Seismic shove is great. Burst is huge. Ole still surviving, but not very long. The Keeper's Fur to punch two members away. Castle's isolated once again. Energy take out two swiftly. And now it's the charge towards the bottom side of the base. Armeo on the run. Tokla living in his own world as he gets to run down the bear and the Emperor. Armeo on the run, flashing away. Maps tries to stand and hold the back. Making the final crash into the two <laughs> Nexus turrets. Take out Ole and Armeo once again. Energy continue to surge Whoa. on the bounce back. Wave behind him. Sniper has to clear the wave in I think front. Sniper can clear this wave if he pops ulti Q. Yep. Realized it a little late, but. Empower Q. The stun from Inspired. Rivers here for the assistance. Pops subjugate on Whippo. He's isolated from the rest of the team, but he throws out one axe to make sure he at least gets the kill before he eventually falls to the rest of 100 Thieves. Here's with the TP. Inspire throws out the ultimate, looks for me, but perfect cleanse from him. Able to escape danger since he doesn't have flash from the fight before, but gets locked up here by all the CC from FlyQuest, and he eventually goes down. Jensen picks up that one. Inspire taking down to the Ignite, and the last charge shot, Ayla is going to trade one back, but he falls to Spatial Prison. Actually, he's just going to throw it right onto River through the front. A teleport is coming in from Whippo, and he has an all-access back pass to Beach. Meech has to be careful when he plays this fight because Whippo has now arrived to the party. He pops a Ragnarok and he just melts River. The shot went from Jensen. Cleans them all on the piles so that Whippo can just run them through. They're going to go for it right now. There's one right outside of the base. Sniper, does he want to dash over the wall? Does he want to walk the way around? But he's spotted on that control ward. So FlyQuest have full information of this flank even happening. So they can just continue to barrage down onto these Nexus Towers. River is forced to recall and soak up HP. Ayla might just go down the depth charge. Whipple just melts him with Masu. Sniper's on the back half. Tries to threaten Masu. But Whipple trades his life for Sniper. It's still an advantage for FlyQuest. One Nexus turret between FlyQuest and 100 Thieves. Meech falls. FlyQuest being able to persevere once again. The shockwave clips him. FlyQuest will take sole possession of first place. An item spike for that Lucian Nami duo. And they're going to drop Harold Bot, so it should be a turret going down. Dub in trouble. Ooh, Boogie with the flash for the engage, but now he's going to ult the tower so they can keep on diving. First blood over to Hui, and they're about to make it too. Boogie keeps himself alive. The Herald's going to be summoned up to take the turret as well. And now there's so many more options for Dignitas to just go in for a fight, whereas Shopify's going to have to try to poke him. Fake God, though, he might be in a rough spot. The shutdown over to Rich as Dub gets the shield from the Seraphs, and Boogie doesn't have the damage to take him out just yet. B-Boy swoops in and he finds that quick one-two pop. He gets back away thanks to the healing from the Nami and Boogie's been to lock down Rich. He should die in the meantime, oh. but instead he's gonna walk away. Insanity swoops in and spiraling despair consumes XU. A double kill back over to the way. Dignitas lose. Fucking off a lot of the poke that they can dash out. And then it's pretty much always rapid fire next. Tomo though. Yeah, we got some problems here. B-Boy trying to escape with a follow-up from XU and Rich coming in from the side. They found the enemy AD carry. And now, as the Volley Bear That's tries to escape, bear. it ain't gonna happen, man. I try to get him off of there, but it's a tall order. Baron down to about half HP now already. Spiraling Despair finds its way onto XU, but that's still the tag. Oh. Holy cow! Huey just gets it done. The first on this champion is Criminal Man. Rich goes over the wall trying to find some kind of an angle here. It'll be a one-for-one one trade on that one as Dub tries to escape, but Fake God is hot on his heels. He needs a little bit more burst, but he won't quite find Another. it just yet. Another oh kill comes God. in. A triple kill for Insanity. Um flies out, but it only hits B-Boy. Dignitas not getting a whole lot out of that one here just yet, but the Glacial Prison finding Insanity, forcing him to save him from the CC as Tomo has to try to flash away. Now, Shopify again on the back foot. Insanity hit by the seismic shove. That could be the pick that does it. Dub finds him, and now Shopify has to try to defend, but Fake God's gonna die next. Tomo taking the kill. 
It's five feet free. Well, it's going to take a whole lot, man. Hiles here from the front. He just barely ends up falling, but they'll trade him back for Boogie. And if you're Dig, you're totally fine with that. Still 25 seconds before Insanity's back on the board, and you got a 4v2 against Zazel and B-Boy. It's all about the Lucian, and Rich slams it back into the wall, follows it up with a wall up. That's going to be GG. Zazel can't hold it. Dignitas with the four-man squad here at the very end. 19 to 13. They'll take down Shopify Rebellion. Force the issue too hard there in the bottom lane, even though he was driving the Herald. They're just trying to split the attention of C9. Vulcan get locks down. However, he buffers through it there with the dredge line. Mom comes in over the top as Fudge tries to step up. But up he goes for the get. He's found Fudge. The chase is caught. Order is he? It'll be a one for one trade here at the very start as Vulcan now gets seismic shoved. APA landing the CC here on a two as JoJo wants to press forward. Impact from the counter strike here yet again, but he's not going to stun anybody up. He has to try to keep running, but Berserker is gunning everybody down. Core JJ wants to escape. APA's over the wall, he's gonna take Flabber out with him, but he still falls! It's three dead on Team Liquid, two dead on C9, the fight turns into a bloodbath! The execute is now active for the C980 carry. Umphy may be looking for a steal here, he goes over the wall, he steals it! Team Liquid gets the Baron thanks to Umphy, and Core JJ wants to try to save Impact. Another massive shot coming out from APA, and Vulcan's already down! Impact stays alive for now, as Berserker's trying to fight these guys off! C9's gotta be careful! as APA still looking to go fishing one more time. JoJo tries to escape, but another rock gets thrown over the wall, and the shutdown goes to Core JJ. Wait here, they're looking for a trap. We'll oh, see if they can find JoJo. Oh, JJ hits him with the tongue. Tries to flash forward, but APA is ready to ride the wall after him. JoJo flashing forward to get away from the seismic shove. That might be the outplay right there. APA drops first. Core JJ here with the front line. Thick skin's only going to buy him a moment as Berserker tries to catch up to Yawn and Impact. Yawn is burning, and Fudge is chasing right after him. Impact gets one back, but now he's got to be careful because Berserker's still on the chase. Empty back here in the mid lane on a 1v3, trying to get away from Blabber and JoJo. Team is back in base now. They do get that final tower down. Yup. Not able to knock down any of the, the actual hit just yet. Ooh, Vulcan trying to catch Umpty, and JoJo's right next to him. Dawning Shadow over the top to keep Umpty protected. Nothing there to come out from the seismic shove. Team Liquid still trying to play it safe. Impact coming around from behind, but Fudge is ready to intercept him. Berserker gets the kill on Umpty with the execute. His impact is now stuck going golden. Yogg grabbing the kill back on Vulcan as now he dies. Impact still trying to fight, but the helicopter crashes. Everybody on Team Liquid's dead. C9 ace for one. It's not just the helicopter. That's what they were doing the whole game. They were split pushing all over the place, and right now they just gave them the free 5v5, which smaller with 482 stacks at this point. Yeah, we'll be strong in. C9 getting themselves a 2-0 week after the break. So easy for Yone to get you to waste an old, get you to waste the summoner. Absolutely, the TP's coming in here. They're looking to scrap. Everyone's coming in now. Fudge is the target. They want to go after the fed guy here first. First down to about 20% HP, but he's getting away. As Dub is under pressure, and JoJo's looking to take the pressure into the back line. Rich still looking for Fudge. Ain't gonna find him just yet, but the shutdown comes through. JoJo getting one back. It's a one for one. Make it a two for one. Dignitas loses their second man, and Blabber's the one putting him in the dirt. See, he cannot now as he's got the high and he's got that bear above. It just feels like everything went crazy early on. JoJo getting jumped on. Solo bound to get himself back away. Blabber looking to put the pressure on Tomo as XU tries to get out. JoJo has to reset his position, but Rich wants to lock him down. Fudge is back up the wall, maybe looking for a flank angle. He decides to run in with the storm. He locks down Rich, but the damage on Tomo was enough. Berserker's got his first kill of the game, and Cloud9 makes it too. JoJo's in the rampage, and Berserker ain't done. He dashes, he flashes, he takes out Sejuani for a double kill, and C9 is gonna walk it in from here. All right, well, it's gonna be uh, that, that's it. Is he him? Is he not him? What do you think? I don't know, man. He just dashed straight into the enemy base, taking out the next one. Maybe him? It's it. It's all right. Anything towards him? It is. He's trending in the right direction. He's still at about 200 HP here. Dub trying to defend. C9 ready to end. Dub just doing everything he might be able to do, but the problem is... Top of the control ward. They really want Whippo here. He goes to the skies. Impact goes in. But now Busio's ready to reinforce. He finds a knockup, and Whippo's already down. Umpty takes the kill, and more damage pours through. APA gets it, and a beautiful hook onto the third target. Puts Jensen in the dirt next to him. APA is going to die as the one traded back. But... Why are you using 
exactly what you want from League of Legends. Vogue is maintained the top for so long, but APA potentially in trouble. TL trying to bail him out. I don't know if APA is the one in trouble just yet. The skies descend, and Team Liquid's ready to reinforce their boy. Here it comes, Yawn's on a rampage as APA kites away with a breath of light, and Yawn's ready to follow up here for a triple kill on Smolder's execution. Fly oh, potentially in some trouble here once again as Yawn and Cora are with him. Yawn being there just makes everything so scary. Accelerated shock blasting gonna find the target. Mom roars in. Lucio trying to protect Masu. Inspired here in the front, but he might just be bursted down. Instead, they turn around onto Yawn, but they can't kill him in time. Breath of light from the side. Yawn is godlike, and there's just nothing left for FlyQuest to do. A double kill for Yawn. Masu is slowed by the breath of light with the Rylai's Crystal Scepter, and Masu's dead too. APA picks up another, and Umpty's not ready to stop. Jensen and Busio running for their lives, but their lives are forfeit. A double kill for APA. He's ready to make it a triple. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Liquid are ready for Super Week. The breath of life becomes the breath of death there from APA, chasing him down, getting three kills. Team Liquid, they were down in the early game. They trusted themselves to dig in, defend, and scale up. And they're going to scale straight into a victory against the number one team. Sniper also has teleport if he wants to join the fight. 1700 onto the Drake. It's secured by Romeo. They try to flash on River, knowing that he doesn't have flash and he cannot get away. But nice counter engage from Ayla. Catches the back line. Armeo is trying to go back and be defensive. Mask is able to distance himself. Tactical is free firing into the back line. Castle picks up two in that fight. Quinn has one more spear rush. Tries to clean up one onto the back line. Finds Castle, maybe looking for a tactical, but tactical is just peeling into Sniper. In the front line, and our male defense mask from the play as Quinn is able to use his last Spears Rush charge to kind of get himself away from the bear. But Tactical has pitched him, and nice flick from Mask clips Quinn, and Tactical picks up another. Oh, with a volley bear there, too. Maybe a pick from Quid finds the trauma to Ole, but even with all the flash, he's able to battle dance his way out of there when the grand entrance and Tactical just over the wall becomes an assassin, finds River. And that could be maybe looking towards the Baron, but a charm from Quid might just find Ole, the flash from Ayla to try and connect on Ole, but he's still out of there and he's living. Tactical is forced to flash over the wall. The killer is for Meech, does he find? Yes, he does! Tactical goes down! Meech gets a huge shutdown and a double off the back half. They got some much needed money. But they closed the gold gap. And now Armeo is looking for Quid, trying to catch him off of that spare rush timer. But River is here as well. Sniper has teleported into the play, but River falls before he's able to get anything done. Meech is in the thick of it all. They're trying to pour everything into this play to try and come back in this game. Quid doesn't flash over the wall, but it doesn't matter. He's still living. Quid is popping off, and Ayla's got them locked up. 100 Thieves just turned around this game. I know that River has been the main playmaker for this team, but in this game, it was Quid that found the initial picks with those charms, and Meech followed up so beautifully as our is gonna go in with the ultimate, but flashes into the Weaver's Wall, gets caught out. Sniper's looking for another one. Quid with the Spirit Watch, Clips Mask. This could just be it. Tactical's under fire. It's only up to Castle and Ole, but two on five are not great odds for Immortals as they find the charm, and that could just be the end of Immortals' dreams as Hundred Thieves will crush them out of playoffs and lock themselves into the bracket. Hundred Thieves, they have done it. What play here. Quid, huge game. Even with the rocky early start, they're able to make that first pick Vi really, really mean something. The Zeri was picked into it, and they made it work later on, and the ultimate locking him down. Or, or at least cover for it. We'll see when he can get on the response as there's a lot of trading for Palafox. Does he just look for the soul kill? He gets the flash of an insanity, a couple more auto attacks. Is it going to be enough? Oh, the empowered one from the double oh! flash away. First blood for Palafox. Oh, he... As Shopify start to move on in. Who is the target here for Zazel? He locks up contracts. Aatrox is able to secure for energy. They try to bounce onto b for he, he hasn't flashed yet, and he's kept at a safe distance. He's able to take out Hui in the fight. And meanwhile, the front line is getting whittled down. Palafox with the answer, but can anyone follow up on the damage? No! Shopify prevail and take out energy. Oh, into him. They're trying to put as much pressure on that Wukong as they get another pick. 
contract is quite taking though. Power Fox with the flash. Insanity flashes as well. He's able to keep himself safe. Boogie now looks for Power Fox, knowing that he doesn't have a summoner spell to keep himself alive. It's the Stasis to buy one more chance, but that chance is gone as Insanity finishes him off. And Shopify, Lane. that's a good control ward right behind the red buff. So it's going to spot Huhi. Shopify now have full information that they can deflect this flank and collapse from Huhi. Boogie's marking him as energy commits into the front line. B Boy is going to take it out by Dokla. Huge bounce back. going to mark it. 4,000 HP on the Baron. Boogie has Flash. They have a Control Ward in the pit. They're going to stop the Baron for now at 3,000 HP. Boogie tries to front force his way through onto Dopla. Punts Palafox. Contracts and Hoogie are onto the back lane. They know that B-Boy doesn't have Flash. He's a sitting duck. The Stasis does not save him this time around. And Energy are going to continue pushing on forward. FBI is getting marked by Boogie with the rest of Energy. They're starting to fall to Fake God as he picks up a double. They look Shopify's hopes are kept alive off of a fantastic performance by Fake God on this Renekton. Cloud9 maybe giving up that position. Ornhorn comes through. They can find that distance though. They do lock down our mail. But here comes another spike fight. It's gonna be a 50-50 that Flabber wins all day long. And the dragon goes down. The fight continues. Ole is getting caught out here. There's the season assist. Everything over top of it. JoJo's all by himself. Yeah, JoJo gets burst down, but Cloud9 do get it. They're gonna continue with the Weaver's oh, Wall. Oh, Mass trying to make the hero play, but he's getting pounced on. He's gonna flash over now, too. They've actually caught out Vulcan. The big engage is gone. Mass all by himself. Two mid laners. Name a better duo. It's now Armeo is trying to chase down Blabber, but that's not a fight you want any day. MT, they have the saving grace of having beat Cloud9 in the first round, Rob, and they're gonna try to do it again. They fight in over here, though. They find JoJo. The Dawning Shadows come across to try to save him, but Armeo's not letting him go. He does end up getting out with the dash down Castle's ass. That's a little bit of trouble. Mass wants to find JoJo. The flash over, though, and he gets him in the end. Armeo's getting low now, though. Castle is running away from Fudge and Vulcan, the two tanks of Cloud9. Blabber and Berserker are coming on the other side. Vulcan buying a lot of time, and they might get a ton of shutdowns here. Shutdown went straight to Blabber's pocket, but now INT, they're refocused, they're refighting, and they're taking down Berserker. As Cloud9 only have two members left, Fudge and Blabber, you gotta run away. Ole doesn't want to let you know. As he's going down, that's a double kill for IMT's mask. Immortals are getting everything. They're taking the dragon on the other side of the map as well. Fudge gonna look for the turnaround. Call it fate, call it destiny. IMT are murdering Cloud9. Back onto the turrets here. The win in their eyes. Castle and Ole and Maz, they want to make this happen. They want to make over half of their, or at least half their wins over Cloud9 here. They get one more. Blabber's all by himself now, too. Shot's not going to be there. As the shock glass does not connect, the last tower does fall. And IMT, they're on to the Nexus. They will take down Cloud9 and score a full 100% win rate against the would be super team in the spring split. RG should have the right of way to this dragon, but Jensen wants to cut off the rest of the team here. Who he's getting chunky, he gets blocked back too, but that is big. He's still alive, gets bailed out as well. FlyQuest take one, and now they move on to the dragon, but it's already gone from contracts and NRG. Now apparently Baron already started about halfway. And and red. Contracts is on his way here. Equalizer goes down. Can't contracts get the 50-50? He cannot. Inspired cleans it up. And now who he is overextended himself, but Pal Fox wants to go in too. NRG are stepping forward. They want an engage. But Plimpo, he pulls the trigger first, and FlyQuest are running down NRG. Dokla's getting his health ripped from his life, but I think who he wants a little bit of a fight. They might have heard that fist fight allegation and want more, but FlyQuest answer in kind with a haymaker. Trying to pick through the mask here to find a way in. If they go for it, Dokla just can get a big I'll equalizer at least. There it is. Contract's in the pit. Contract's gonna get the Baron too. Oh. And a contracto. And now Blippo goes ham though. Over onto who he trading that kill back for the Baron. Potential hostile takeover. Inspired looking for a flank around as well. He's gonna try to reject someone. Oh. And now they're gonna look for the fight. They want it. And who he can't get the connection there. This might have been the 
kick that fly needed. They get the Nautilus, they get the front line, and now onto the mid lane. Yeah, they're gonna look to try to push for the base. Energy trying to make something happen here while the Baron buff is still active. They only have 30 seconds remaining. Oh, they know but, the Nexus oh. is open. Nice kick from and Contracts denying the end gate there. Inspired gets caught by Malibox. So Inspired is gone. Now Dokla is gone too. Trading off the kills, but right here is at the advantage of FBI. They've got the range, they've got the distance, but Whippo wants to close that distance. He's got it. As now Malibox is just down and out. Jensen gets the shutdown. Masu's kiting. Oh, and in oh. Fly Quest, they're fighting tooth the nail here fbi's gone and fly quest they've just done it it's an absolute banger between these two teams fighting tooth and nail will move themselves to nine and four and get revenge on energy's first round robin they still have control over the bot side river magnet scrum for xu ready to go once more apa trying to get away xu looks for him but there's your seismic shove up has to disengage back into the wall but once more it's xu here in the front trying to stay alive gorge aj and everybody else from tl gonna be locked up for the quickness as xu's first to drop team liquid still staying alive for now as devil's about to drop here from the stasis he got it back in the back keeping everybody else occupied he just might die he just might not impact walks away they won't find him here with the feathers just yet He's still got to try to get the hell out of town. Town is very dangerous. He's going into he goes town. Out. He he he's going to use the teleport. He's going to get away. For your team, um, and the enemy are stacking a lot of armor. So you start to see some magic resist now picked up as well. Weaver's wall used to get Team Liquid extra firing time on the Tier 1 turret. But now Isles is ready to go and he finds the quickness of multiple targets. Followed up by the Magnet Storm. Dick and Tusk need to do some more damage. The health bars on TL are largely unaffected. Dove has to try to get back away. And Dumpty's still spinning around, staying alive. The first kill comes through and it's APA dead in the dirt. A shutdown comes back over the yawn as Rich falls. But Dick and Tusk are the fight. Tomo goes forward and Umpty has the run. Baron, Baron. Team Liquid has lost three men and to be Baron for sure. Nicely done from Dig. They only lose Rich. They get three, almost four. Took a big chunk over the wall there. With your mid laner down to half HP, I don't think Dignitas really wants to commit to a full fight here just yet, but they are gonna find Umpty's clone. Not really a whole lot. Got TP him. now for Dove. He's ready to go. I think Dick and Toss are going to look for the fight. Core JJ tries to initiate, but he takes a lot of burst here immediately. Humpty is already down before we can contribute much of anything at all. However, he's traded back for Lyle. It's already a triple kill for Tomo. Dick and Toss just won the game. Penta! Penta kill for Tomo! Take Team Liquid down. 34 minutes in. And have enough damage without the ulti. Fake God, very strong at this point. Popping the Dominus, Boogie takes the turret aggro first, and that means uh -oh. Sniper's gonna outplay him. Uh -oh. He might just be able to get both. Uh -oh. There's a shock blast, a double kill. And wants the tempo play of pushing lanes quicker. Ayla engaging here against Shopify. The rest of the team isn't immediately ready, but the Blast Cone gets Ayla away to safety. Now Boogie has to jump back over the wall, but Sniper's ready to gun him down. Zazel has to try to escape, but Quinn's already killed off Boogie. Shopify are trying to resist, but 100 Thieves are way too far ahead. River finds another one. That's two dead on Shopify. Same team, River as well here. Uh, doing quite well for himself. Nice little uh, shove there. They get the easy Infinity Edge just now completed for Quiz Yone. This guy hits like a truck now as the Weaver's Wall comes in and the first finds Zazel to start to fight. Boogie has to run away from the Death Charge as the Tier 3 turret falls and another Dredge Line connects. Insanity's the target and Meats just barely misses out on the kill. Shopify running for their lives back into the fountain as 100 Thieves keep it going. 100 Thieves now beginning to knock down the front door. One turret cut down, one last chance. Here we go, Ayla with the pull on in. Fake God gets cut down. Quinn is in the Nexus and does fall, but it looks like Meech is gonna shell as Tristana. B-Boy is not there. Forget curses, folks. <laughs> this curse has been broken as they will cut down the Nexus oh. as Meech wants more. GG, 100 Thieves still fighting for first place in the LCS. Too far off, hitting the 225. Uh, I think they'll be, they'll be decently happy. They're gonna find Umti, he has flats available, and he gets swallowed up by Core JJ to keep him alive, but they find AP on the backside, and there's no way that he gets saved out. The Sassel Charge does not save him, Mass picks him up. Umti's able to trade one back onto Ole, and now Immortals are on the right side of the flank. Blue buff caught in between. But the rest of Team Liquid, they can look to try and turn around this fight. They still have Yawn. 
to punt out the damage. Here's the siege. Armeo's looking around. Max jumps forward. APA dodges the charm. Force uses the stasis. Poor JJ has to swallow him up. Actually, doesn't even need it. He's able to buy enough time. Yon takes the first execute. The second one goes down. It's a five on three. This just could be the push that takes Team Liquid to the playoffs. They're in the base, and they're looking like they're in the playoffs. Here they come. Damn the Immortals, resilience and persistence as they make one last ditch effort. Tap to go onto the back line with the Killer Instinct. Our male sends it all, but he gets executed by Yon. Castle falls next. Tactical's the last one, and this will just be the last game of Immortals for the regular season. Team Liquid have the resilience and the fortitude to withstand and unleash Immortals and lock themselves into the playoffs. Has to be careful because he's still a level one Ivern. They're calling who he over. 753 HP. He tries to walk behind it. He gets the backstab. He claims the red buff. Does he deceive out of there? But he's got nowhere else to run. He's going to buy some time, but surely he will go down. And River Shaco not off to the greatest to start. It's a first blood for energy. Strong case this split. Drag has been started up by 100 Thieves. Boxes are set up. The flash from Huhi tries to connect on Denise, but the fear from the box interrupts halfway through, and Huhi just might go down to quit. FBI forced to flash over the wall. Drag is still at 3k HP. Sniper pops the Ragnarok. He runs down FBI. Palfox is gone as well. How does this happen every single time, Kobe? Use that to run down Palfox in mid lane. Now Palfox wants some revenge. Uh-oh. Don't go help. There's a giant Viking. He pops the Ragnarok. He looks to burn down Palfox. He gets one. Does he look for two? Who he's brought along for help with the Ragnarok oh is immune God. to the CC. He's burning him down. <laughs> the life steal. He gets another one. And he can burn down Huey, but FBI finally takes him out. Gundub doesn't even pop the ultimate because he doesn't care. He takes a lot of poke from FBI in the back end of it. Dredge line does not connect on the Quaid. With the movement speed, Ayla force the engage. The first exit tower falls. Bomb from top rope once again. The execution and start coming in. The first one goes on to Huhi. Don't put force back. Palfox and FBI keeping their distance. They burn down the second Nexus tower. Hundred thieves will strip fit away, fade away from Energy's hands as they look to try and fight for first seed against FlyQuest. Someone else is here to go in first. A little heist, perhaps. Okay, this okay. is interesting. That's a that's an eco. They want to go for it. The Ivern brushes are up. They got in the middle, but Jojo goes into the engage. He finds Boogie. The burst isn't there in time to kill him, and now Zazel's got to try to play Interceptor. Jojo getting himself back here yet again. He's grabbing the kill on Zazel, but they're going to trade one for one. The Drake is still alive as C9 wants to get the hell away, and they're going to secure the Drake while they do it. They've lost Blabber. They've lost Jojo. They've only traded it back for Zazel. Maybe you heard me. There, there it is, exactly. He could tell. He could tell what's going on here. And now Boogie getting caught out. The burst damage goes through, but Redemption saves him just in the nick of time. Now Vulcan's bursted down by B-Boy, and Insanity finds a nice double knockback. Thank God's made his way, and it's a double kill back of the B-Boy. Shopify Rebellion, our steamrolling Cloud9, as Fudge tries to get away, but Shopify's hungry for dessert. We got, we got, we got that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them oh. know. Let them know. But now the engage coming out from Zazel. The catch, the damage. Jojo barely gets away back in the Lamb's rest. We're looking to keep himself alive with a massive counter attack. Jojo Pyun again with the clutch for C9. Is that how it ends? Saying if you're going to go after the Drake, it's not even spawning for another 15 seconds. C9, brute force down the tier three turret. Fake God coming around from the flank. Jojo finds a knock up on three again. The angle is there. The burst is down. And Shopify's already lost two men, but Jojo expires too. Now Fudge cuts down B-Boy in the 1v1. And Insanity needs to mop him up. A double kill for Blabber. And only Insanity stands on Shopify Rebellion. A TP to try to bring himself back in to defend in time. Insanity has to try to hold this somehow. I think he can. 280 carries out of support, one guy. Anna, six grubs. It's tough, man. Insanity flashes away from the bubble from the Nami. He wants oh. the burst on Blabber. The bomb's still strapped to his head. Kendrick, oh. he dies with a turret shot. Insanity's defense Wait, will that? hold the line. Is this huge? Then go for direct. Marks. Yeah. What's that range, like 700 at this point? Jojo, huge engage, finds two, but now B-Boy goes back over the wall with the killer instinct, looking to take him down. Blabber's here with the front, and Lamb's reference is over to use. B-Boy finds the kill on Jojo. What looked like it might have been the angle here for Cloud9. It's Shopify's fight to keep going. A snipe nearly kills Blabber, but he barely hangs on. B-Boy making the outplay against Jojo's engagement. The circle goes in, looking for the 1v4. Vulcan gets the kill on Fake God, but it's going to be oh traded God. back against B-Boy.
Berserker. Like that one miss mm -hmm. W. That one time W. Wow. The, the calling is just a Gatling gun at this point. Sazel trying to hook away to safety. No, Berserker got him. That might just be the end of the game right now as Insanity has to disengage and B-Boys running to the safety of the Tier 3 turret. C9 have the Nexus in their eyes. It is only one turret left to protect it. Berserker, he wanted to go, but now he got God. Jojo with the rest of C9, still looking maybe for an angle here. It's still 4v4. Berserker was so huck, most likely. Shopify trying to hold on to the last Nexus turret. There they go. They're looking to find the birth of the Lamb's Respite. He's going to keep C9 alive. Jojo's ult, he doesn't hit anybody. That could be huge. But now C9's looking to fight him back. B-Boy into the back line, but he ain't going to find the kills here just yet. It's nobody dead on Cloud9. Berserker trying to come back now with the Guardian Angel as C9 disengages. A one-for-one one trade, but it's Berserker for Zazel. And now C9's going to try to run. They lock down Fake God, but Shopify Rebellion are in hot pursuit. Blabber and Fudge both looking to recall. Cloud Soul gives 20% move speed without your ult even being cast. Boogie flashing in for the root color, but he doesn't hit it. There's your Void Seeker. Fake God still going. He's flying like a bat out of hell. Shopify Rebellion find another. Berserker dead. 35 seconds still on that clock. Shopify for the 4v3. Jojo, the Nico ulti, I believe, is almost ready to go again. Shopify still pushing. Daisy, back on the map. They want it. They want to try and end, but they just can't get the minions to the turret. <laughs> Come on, go Shopify. Let's see what you got, boys. Blabber and Fudge trying it. to defend, but Shopify do not have the push power. The Elder is live on the map. Oh, oh no. no. They got oh, my God. What a game. 48 minutes and 49 seconds, Let's and go. I still don't know who the hell's going to win. Three flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Split. If they win, they can at least get a tiebreaker for playoffs, Someone maybe get it out right. Okay. Go in and die while the else just ends the game. 70 seconds left. Can't. Just hook on the elder. Backline. The minion waves are just getting destroyed. Fake God's gonna soak the turret here for now. Daisy's going in. Nexus turret number one already down. Now Fake God and the rest of Shopify regrouping, getting ready for the next wave. Sure, not not done. Sure. It, it's probably one of those that's actually in a danger zone. Hold on. 10 seconds on this TP showing up. The Elder, five seconds left on it. Fake God making his entry back into the fight as Fudge has already used Dominus. Nami wave goes out. Blabber's below half HP. The Nexus turret is not dead yet. Jojo wants the angle. He goes in for the engage on three. Jojo Pune again and again and again and again. He brings Cloud9 back from the edge. Look at Fudge's face. He's like, oh, he's so relieved. It's finally over. Man. Why didn't they do that hook play before Elder expired? Why did you wait until it expired? The second Elder oh, expired, they hook in. JoJo counter engages. That's Cloud9 nine win the banger. Shopify are officially eliminated from playoff contention. Like he can lane, but he can't really team fight. So this grub start is very risky. If there's a 4v4, I think FlyQuest is stronger. Well, Dove wants to challenge him on that. Inspire trying to get away, using the ulti for distance, but Dove's gotta be careful. He's only got 400 HP remaining. He has to flash out of the dawning shadow. No, but Jensen makes a massacre out of him. Spiraling despair, and Dignitas is on the run. Isle should die here too. Tries to buy himself enough time to make his exit, but no, sir. Whippo's gonna run him down and fly quest gets two nothing just to just have four men here to contest jensen has just now respawned he's gonna make his way down xu has the smite though it's gonna be a smite fight it's claimed by rich but now he's gonna be careful he's likely to die here busio may just drop again but inspire's already got the first kill back on the tf busio gets away with an abyssal dive busio and the rest of fly quest are looking for even more but they've lost whippo tomo and the Varus. This guy, keep your eyes on him. XU, nearly killed by Spiraling Despair, but Severing Bolt can't find the snipe for the execution. Dignitas still trying to get everybody out. Masu in hot pursuit. Tomo, oh no, man, that was, oh, he's trying. It'll be a one for one there. Make it a two for one at the very end if Isles actually drops. Enough damage comes in through Airy. It's a double kill back over to Jensen, seven to seven. They're in for another 60 seconds or so. Yeah, they're just gonna break this. The minions are enchanted. FlyQuest are forcing this whip is such a tank. They're yeah. just gonna run dumb over. That is a huge kill. FlyQuest are not stopping. And Rich actually has to come back there. No flash or ultimate able to be used by Dove. FlyQuest, they want to end right here. FlyQuest is going for it. Nexus turret number one's already down. Isles is gonna be 
hit by spiraling despair. He may just die. Still rooted up. There's your snipe. Jensen severs him. And now inspired. The only one even remotely low, but it don't matter. Dash in on top of him. On top of him. Now you got X. You trying to get away. No, sir. No way. No how. For the first time in LCS history, FlyQuest finishes regular season in first place. That great. Oh, here's the TP play. coming in deep. It's going to be Palafox coming in, but the tower's already gone, and Rich is going to be able to just turn this around on a Dokla. The Super Mega Death Rocket is just barely going to miss, but in flashes X you. The crash down connects. Dokla getting incredibly low. The spiraling despair is going to take out Rich, or is it? Rich is on the run here. He will finally go down to Palafox, and Huhi comes in to help Palafox clean it up. It's going to be a second kill there for NRG. The dragon spawns, but FBI doesn't have stacks. Who is going to go? threatening. He's stepping forward. Remember, there's no flash on Huhi, and Huhi's going to go down in a hurry here. Tomo going to get excited. We'll see how much more he can get as he's going to chase forward. Gets another kill. Contracts is down already. Isles is piling forward, and Meganar comes out. That's going to be another kill. It's a triple for Tomo. He's looking for the quadra on the FBI. He's going to get it as Dignitas wipe energy off the map. The rest are going to stay. They're going to TP back on the minion. They're going to actually look to close it out. Tomo takes a couple it's turret over. shots. Hui's here, but there's no one else to follow <laughs> up on it. And Dignitas have done it. They destroy energy, move energy to zero and four on the week. They claim the fifth seed.